Let's uh, go over here to Cody. Cody, you're on the Ron Fez show. Hey, I think the Ichiban is that Opie bumped uh, Ayata um, hero status. Opie's done something fantastic. Something that touched us all. Opie single-handedly without the help of anyone. This better be important. <laughs> Opie did something that we all dream of doing. He took a guy with terminal cancer who called the show <laughs> and turned him over to the cops <laughs> to spend his final days <laughs> locked in a jail cell. Real nice. <laughs> Look, Congratulations, not, Thank you, Ronnie. Thank you, Fez. And face to you. Sir, yes. To my right. Face to Dave. Wherever you are. Oh, a six to noon. Face. <laughs> I don't need, I don't need, face. A, I don't need a promoter. <laughs> oh, well, that's true. Not when you're the darling, you the darling of the Daily News. <laughs> that's right. Do you get uh, Google alerts every other hour? <laughs> no. Mr. Eastside Dave. When the Dave, Google I, alerts come in. <laughs> I get shit alerts. <laughs> I'd like to start and talk to you about your own cupcake because there, <laughs> I'm thinking about where you just have a hero uh, cupcake going out. I uh, I just want to start by saying, uh, Ronnie, make sure people uh, know that I wasn't just kind of lurking about waiting for you to call, call me. No, you are. That was okay. <laughs> just make sure they know you pulled me out of something important. What I like to call is this our Friday wrap-up. It's a Friday wrap-up we do now. It's awesome. And you know what? I mean, I know you uh, got those other guys on your show who like to do the shock jock, yes. dick jokes. Yeah. But there's something important, and you and I have that love of broadcasting, that uh, people like uh, Norton and Fez and Anthony will never have. And that's why you're open to be a hero. Thank you. Thank you, Ronnie. Thank you. Coming from you, it means a lot. I hear we have something in common. Yeah. I uh, I heard it all morning long. They're like, "Look, you're in you're in good company with Ron Bennington." Well, yeah, I uh, found a cell phone in the bottom of a cab, and I hit a number, and I returned the, the call to him. I could have thrown it out the window. Yeah, but I didn't. Yeah. I I risked my life, and I called. Yeah. Yeah. The, the old me, I would have smashed the cell phone. Well, I, I Not know, anymore, but you're different. Friend. Not anymore. Living a whole new life That's now. That's right. I, I don't corner. know how it was for you, but I just <laughs> I just looked down on the floor, yeah. and there was a cell phone. And you knew what you had to do. I know, and I didn't feel like leaning over. Sure. But I did. I scooped it up. I made the call, and I said, are you white? And the guy said, yes. And I go, then I'm going to come to your house yeah. and drop this off. Most people can't be bothered by pushing one. one the ice number. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but we understand the importance of things like that. Now, luckily, uh, you get the call. Mm -hmm. And I guess your little comrades are joking around doing yes. their filthy humor. Yes. That seems to be so big in the mornings. Absolutely. Yeah. What do they do? Call each other stupid? Or what do they do? You're stupid. The things that you love are bad. This is... But I, I take anything precious to you and it stinks. I don't go for it. No. Uh, by the way, this is the only interview I'm uh, doing. Good. I'm glad you're because, here. Because uh, no one else is called. If, <laughs> if you want, uh, take, Fez out, with each other. take Fez out to lunch for a photo op. Yeah. Do one of those things like where you take a retarded kid to the zoo. <laughs> yeah. I'm not make a wish or anything. Mm. And this, uh, this, uh, the, what's his name again? Oh, Tom. <laughs> yes, Tom. Tom. You know, he's in a bad place right now. and uh, Jail. I don't, I don't, yeah. <laughs> Not that. And I don't want people to think that I woke up this morning and quickly went to the newsstand to see, you know, how close to the front page the story was or anything. Did you, did you I'm actually, not like that. Uh, did you Ronnie. show it to the guy at the newsstand and go like this? Uh, <laughs> right. This is a stupid look. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why it is. <laughs> And, you know, there, and I wasn't disappointed when I found out that it was uh, mostly an online article. But it wasn't in the actual paper. But most people read online now. Oh, okay. You know, most people. I, What I do is I go on the internet. And that's where I get all my news. I go to the Drudges and the Huffingtons. What about Breitbart? You know uh, what I like, too, is just that name, Opie. Was I started thinking, it's, sometimes when it's Opie and Anthony, it's too long for me. Yeah, yeah. But if I could just say the Opie show. Sure. Or just like Opie and then nothing else. I got to show you. Uh, like the yeah. banner in the photo on the online article. Yeah, I want to show that. You got that article there? 
Oh boy, where's our stuff? Oh no. All right, sorry. You know, I think it's been laminated or yeah, turned into a plaque. Put a, have it put under glass. <laughs> And then put it up in the lobby of your apartment. <laughs> Not even I don't want it in my apartment. Put it down in the lobby. Uh, here. So that you uh. and Kathleen Turner can see it. There's baby face. <laughs> Sorry. Your your nice stuff was thrown out? Yeah. Oh, um, wow. I guess you uh, need a better I assistant. I, I get so many press <laughs> clippings these days. Yeah. I guess we just yeah. throw them out now. I was saving that one. Well, um... It's really an interesting show that you guys, you're the hero, mm -hmm. and then uh, Anthony has become this ne'er-do-well <laughs> <laughs> bachelor about town. Long Island playboy. Yeah. <laughs> Did you uh, hear the suicide hotline this morning we played? I didn't get the to hear that when it was coming in. I, I, the Anthony Cumia suicide hotline? Yeah. Uh, let's, let's grab some of those. Yeah, can you? Because when I'm walking in here, I miss all the good stuff. All right, yes, I just want to, just in case people missed it, uh, yeah. there's the headline, Ronnie, if, if you will. If you will, please. Thank you. It's really uh, <laughs> fantastic stuff. Radio show, Opie talks listener out of suicide yes. attempt. Yes. And I, what were, uh, uh, I guess, Jimmy and Anthony at this time were uh, doing racist jokes, or what were they doing? They, uh, for the most part, they just kind of... Ran and and hid and yeah, uh, kind of like panic mode. Yeah, they went into like the fetal position and they were shaking. And right. I, I said, guys, n don't worry. I I've been here before. I'll get us through this. Well, again, that right. comes back to our uh, broadcasting. We just lost Jim McKay. Yeah, and everyone remembers how he kept his shit wired during the seventy two Olympics. Why other people went and drank. Yeah. He said, <laughs> <laughs> he said, let me keep it together. Because the other news guys literally went, the sports guys went, I guess we're not doing this. Yeah. And went right to the bar. Yeah, oh, I, yeah. I don't want to die for this cause. So yeah. I'm, uh, I'm going to hit the, uh, the the local watering hole. Yeah, that's what that's the way they deal. I'm glad you're a little uh, different about it. Uh Oh, there we've put it up there too, where it's in color. Well, why don't you describe the picture too? Because well, it's very important. It's to a the, picture uh, of you, <laughs> and then for some reason, there's this blue sign that just says Opie behind it. I've never noticed that just Opie <laughs> sign well, around here. Well, you know, they know what's going on. They, they yeah. know who really runs the show, and right. they decide to get a picture of me with just Opie. Uh, who cares that it used to say Opie and Anthony? Right. It's not my fault. They they cropped it uh, like that. Is it? Are you sure it's cropped? <laughs> <laughs> well, Anthony's off at the uh, polo matches in, <laughs> in the Hamptons this weekend. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be uh, doing some more of my charitable work all right. over the tri-state area. It's like um, you're Batman and he's Bruce Wayne. That's the way it is. <laughs> he's living that other lifestyle. Uh, here's uh, Brooklyn Ace. Brooklyn Ace, you're on Run of Fez. Good morning, gentlemen. Yeah. Um, Opie... Didn't you say this morning that Jimmy was the one responsible for saving him? That's what heroes do, Ace. Heroes go out of their way not to take the credit. He, he doesn't want credit. No. Opie doesn't. No. He wants to stay under the spotlight, you know, and people want to f seek him out. You know what? Uh, I'm glad that you're here, too. Dave gave me a couple cigars today. Well, The uh, only member of my staff who ever thinks to himself, Earl, hmm. hand it over. Because Instead I, of being stupid. I appreciate Ron, I appreciate Opie uh -huh. for the things they've done for me. So, but you just had a baby, and you're going to go out and get me nice cigars? Right, and Opie, what do you like to... <laughs> do you like chew or snuff? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> no, I try not to do the... Uh, Everyone the, chews. <laughs> <laughs> try not food. to do the tobacco, right. <clears throat> okay, a nice, uh, nice bottle of wine. Babyface, <laughs> bottle of wine. I mean, nice. Mr. Opie, please. Anything under a hundred dollars. By the way, eh. you know, <laughs> keep, keep it for yourself. <laughs> uh, who took off with the uh, rum or whatever the other day? Was that you that ran away with the free rum? Uh, it was vodka. It was homemade vodka. Uh -huh. Yeah, I happen to. That's interesting. So it's given to the Ron and Fez show when I it ends up in, in your cupboard I brought it back. at your house. Yeah, it's, it's back. It's under. It's in Fez's drawer. Oh, it's is back. that? Is it? Yeah, it's back. It's back. That I was going to have you a free rum day today. Can I? Go run and get the yeah! rum. Go oh, run no, and get the no, rum. No, go no, run no, and get the rum. No, go no, ahead. There he goes. No, no, there he goes. He knows what it's rum day. Get it, boy. He knows what it's rum day. Get it. Get it, boy. 
Oh, wow, I'm here for free rum day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <man>. <laughs> wow. <laughs> there he's back. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I just noticed this. The number one dad shirt. <laughs> oh, um, so? And number one dad hat. Yeah, I just, I just thought I'd wear what, you know, I didn't have a lie in the closet, so what? So that's your uh, your Father's Day, I guess? Yeah, I didn't want to show off anybody, but, you know. You've been a dad for how long now? Uh, three weeks. All right, so have some of that Tito's <laughs> homemade rum. Is it rum? No, it's vodka. Oh, I didn't know that. Boy, you know it's, it's all the same to me. Hey, Still six times. You know it's good if if the brand says Tito, and the lid's <laughs> held on with duct tape. Yeah, it's homemade. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot this one up for Baby Juliet. Oh, that's it for your my- baby. <laughs> I really thought he was gonna say Baby Jesus. Oh yes, fries are the best. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? You're not- <laughs> He's an alcoholic. Oh, what are you is he? About? <laughs> Look, first of all, you can tell he's an alcoholic by the color of his hair. <laughs> I used to be like you, blonde. <laughs> the red hair is just a thermometer for alcoholism. <laughs> right. It's the mercury <laughs> sign. It's you know everyone has a little toot on uh, going into the weekend. Uh, the toot is uh, cocaine. <laughs> I don't know where you're getting it from. <laughs> Look at him spitting out <laughs> vodka ready. Oh, God bless it. God bless Mr. B so fucking much, man. Wait, what did he do? How did he give you a cold? <laughs> what did he do to deserve this today? Uh, well, Was he's he the number one this dad. Week? This is his Father's Day. It's Friday the 13th. Okay. I wanted to send his baby home a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God bless Mr. B. Now, do you have to check with uh, Mommy and... Uh, oh, that probably would have been a good idea, but uh, no, I'm sure it's fine. Just a little bit of vodka. Never hurt anybody. Yeah. Bob's up to the fucking <laughs> <Opie Anthony show. laughs> to ride a fucking fence. Bottoms up. Yeah. I guarantee you, I'll give you three, four years, you're not bottomed out calling Opie on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing to live for, man. Ready be fired, be. How much of that will you drink? <sighs> will he go through the whole thing, Ronnie? You know, he uh, for being an alcoholic, he's also a lightweight. Yeah? Yeah. How much more could he do? That was it, that was an impressive three shots already. Opie, who loves my oyster now? <laughs> Why is the world your oyster? I'm drinking, baby. Drinking on Friday. What's look, wrong with it? Look how happy he is Woo! just to be having a drink for himself. I'm a grown man, right? Are you? Shit, yeah, Ronnie B. <laughs> <laughs> then why don't you go out and get yourself a man face? <laughs> That's the exact face of half the kids in my third grade class. <laughs> I'd fuck those kids up right now if I saw them. <laughs> Fucking punch them. That's right. Oh, Still in the house, stop baby. Wa- stop walking, working to the crowd. All right. Why does baby face <laughs> keep bringing you beverages every time I turn around? I like to chase it down. A little Coca-Cola, a little vodka. I help. <laughs> where's, my, where's Opie's bottle of wine? <laughs> Well, what are you? This isn't a bar. <laughs> this is a place of work. I love it. Hey, you yeah. drink with me. We're working here. I never drank really with Opie. I drank with Mister Kumia a couple times. Yeah. Uh, Joe, Joe, you're on Ronnie Fez. Hey, Ronnie. Yeah. Uh, that Tito's vodka he's drinking. It's actually won an award for best tasting vodka. It's distilled from beer. Mm. This oh, is, is that Tito. right? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tito. <laughs> At the and, Univision Awards. Yeah, I. Uh, it's distilled in Tito's garage. <laughs> <laughs> this is from the people, uh, our friends from Austin, Texas, who yeah. were here the other day, who got married. Yeah, they did get married. God She's bless. Gonna... Hey, Bob's up to you. <laughs> John and Bob. In Austin, Texas, Daniel Johnson, <laughs> Richard Linkletter. Austin, Texas, baby. That's all you remember from mm-hmm. Austin? Who else? Ah, Steve Austin. <laughs> no, <laughs> Steve Austin's not from yeah, Austin, he's from Texas. There. He's from there. <laughs> right. No, he met the Million Dollar Man. Oh. The Six Million Dollar Man. <laughs> uh, here's uh, Michael. Michael, you're around a Fez. Hey, uh, I just want to give Opie props for uh, trying to instigate a Waco-style shootout yesterday. It's a man who's heavily armed and has absolutely nothing to lose. Gets a warning from Opie about the tactical team uh, surrounding him. That would have been fun. Yeah, that might have been a uh, a faux pas. Well, you know the. You'll know next time. Well, Steve comes running in with a notebook and he's writing. I'm like, what are you writing? 
And he basically wanted to let us know that they were sending a tactical team over to, uh, what's his name? Tom. Oh, Tom's house. <laughs> and I yelled out, tactical team? <laughs> knowing that Tom is a... Way like to speak a, in code. <laughs> yeah, like knowing that he's a super fan of the show and listening to, you know, XM yesterday during the whole thing. Uh, by the way, every day we get a picture of uh, Dave's uh, baby in the new yeah. contest. Yeah. And uh, this one is really cute. Uh, she's dressed Aww. up like uh, Frank from the, the movie, the the Rabbit. <laughs> well, we were going for Ralphie from Christmas Story. Oh, I went the other way. I thought the <laughs> Rabbit that showed up. <laughs> Donnie Darko. <laughs> Donnie Darko. I really thought. I thought it was the Donnie Darko baby. <laughs> it was the Christmas Story, but the Donnie Darko angle was a little better. I think. <laughs> All right, here's an interesting thing. All right, Ralphie, you'll shoot your eye out. Frank and Donnie Darko got his eye shot out. Holy shit. It's a mad world. You better take I'm another shot. I'm fucking drinking to that. All right. You really yeah. should. It's a coincidence. There you go. Oh, God <laughs> bless. It's a coincidence. <laughs> you know what? Who is it? Yeah, that's not the, the sign of a problem. There you go. Enjoy that shot. Maybe you'd be a little less desperate if you ripped off some of that stuff there. You just look pathetic. <laughs> it's the rapping. I like yeah. it. My mom always saved the wrapping. I've never seen anyone drink like that that wasn't pushing all their belongings around in a cart. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you speak of. Oh, he's been drinking for six minutes, and he brought up his first mom reference. Yeah. Oh, oh, he loves his mom. Oh, Where does this oh, go? Oh, he loves his Let mom. Let me tell you something. Yeah. And you can, frankly can vouch. She's the one hot piece of ass. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, he's already looking at me yeah. weird. Yeah. I'm moving over here. Frankly, don't move too far. <laughs> no, hey. it's all right. <laughs> What's wrong? You're proud that Franklin uh, thought your mom was hot. Yeah, man. I mean, if I'm not saying this would be fine, but if she wasn't my mother, I'd probably, you know, I'd probably fuck her because she <laughs> is attractive for an older woman. How old is she? Sixty-seven. Sixty-seven years young. Fucking Faye Dun Dunaway is sixty-seven or whatever. Seventy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so your mom, you think, is better looking than Faye Dunaway? Yeah. Hey, can, okay. I ask a <laughs> can I ask a question? Yeah, not an argument. A super fan of the Ron and Fez show. What's hey, up with Earl kissing Eastside Dave? And why does it look like Earl is really enjoying <laughs> the kissing of Eastside yeah. Dave? Earl uh, came, well, after your birthday, Earl, you turned uh, 38, right? Yeah. Oh, I thought and he said turn gay. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it. He said that he has a love for cock that he never really knew about. <laughs> right. And mm -hmm. I'm happy to oblige him. I mean, I'm, I'm no gay person, but... I, I'll fuck him if I have. You'll, you'll just <laughs> do just stuff the, for the goof, but Earl seemed to be <laughs> no, no. Earl seemed to be enjoying it. Uh, no, it was. No, not you at did all. it for the goof. Earl did it for other reasons. I really not can there, I almost got sick in his mouth. <laughs> but he was he was fine with it the whole that time. Was not fun. Uh, the taste of your bile. Yeah. That was was just, that the first black uh, person you ever kissed? Yeah. Even hookers. Even hookers. Okay. I only had Asian hookers. <laughs> Drink to that? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Asian <laughs> you, Do you think that Earl's Asian because he's a minority? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! He's chasing it down with more vodka, basically. That's Tito's Martinez, is. baby! Yeah, he, he it's went, not Tito he, Martinez. <laughs> he did a swig. Tito Martinez. He did a swig from the bottle, then, then reached for his vodka and coke to chase it down. <laughs> Why don't you just take a hammer to your liver and get it over with? This one's for Tito Santana, baby. <laughs> Arriba! Intercontinental <laughs> Champion, 1985. Not really. <laughs> um, here's uh, Logan. Logan, you're in Ron Oh, yeah. I hope What's it's Charlie up, buddy? Logan. How y'all doing? <laughs> hey, man, I'm, not, I'm down here in Austin. I know the guy that, uh, that made that Tito stuff. And, uh, man, you won't have a hangover at all as long as you drink the entire bottle. Um, now, is he a local legend in Austin? Yeah, it's a it's a pretty big deal now. Now that uh, it, it's it's you know his his drinks getting out there all over the place. So yeah, he's a pretty big deal. All right, there you go. You're drinking the best. You're drinking Tito's. I feel like it, man. Yeah. Yeah, just make sure you drink the whole bottle. You won't have a hangover at all. No problem, Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, baby. <laughs> I want to say this real quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I fucking love the Ron Fez show. Oh, thank you. You know that. I didn't know that. The cigars is proof. Okay, that is proof. <laughs> I'm working on something for Fez. What are you working on? Yeah, what is it? Blowjob? Ch chocolates. <laughs> that's good for a guy who said two heart attacks. <laughs> and is <laughs> diabetic. That's why I'm working on him. <laughs> you're diabetic? Yeah. Hmm. I thought hmm. when you're diabetic, you'd change your eating habits. Well, you're supposed to. Yeah. Yeah. 
I haven't changed all of them. <laughs> so you just eat, even though you know it's bad for you. Uh, call the police. <laughs> <laughs> Try to do the saving tool in the same day. What we ought to do is have a gun in here and just sh shoot the fork out of his hand. <laughs> it's a tactical team. Is there anything else you love, by the way? What do you love, number one, Dad? <laughs> All right. I love Opie a lot. All right. <laughs> really? Where did that come from? I do. <laughs> uh, he's sitting in here, yeah. and I want to tell him face to face. Yeah. I'm sorry for stepping on the line of the day today. Yeah. I, I, I talked over it, and I felt real bad about it. And I'm going to do a fucking shot of Tito's for it. Okay. All right. That's one punishment. I love you. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Because he invites me yeah. to the ONA Animation Festival. Right. When I first got here, he didn't talk a lot to me, Ron. He didn't like you. He no. quote unquote said that <laughs> that redheaded weirdo with the Ron <laughs> Fez show. Yeah. And he always called me an intern. <laughs> <laughs> I believe he Anthony still does. Didn't, Anthony didn't like you either. <laughs> no. And neither did Norton. They never do. <laughs> I don't think Ron likes like you either, by the way. Mm. I don't know. Who did hey. like you? Very few people. Yeah. So that's why I thanked Ron and Fez. Mm -hmm. But I'm thanking you now. Mm -hmm. It's your time. <laughs> I'm just going to have a little bit of Tito's real All quick. Right. Just a little one. Just a me. little shoot. All right. Here so, we go. Oh, yeah. Oh Tito's. So here's the thing. <laughs> so here's the thing. Can I call you Greg? Listen. <laughs> so you. Things have changed, evolved so much. Right. The other day, mm -hmm. we're in the hallway and he says, Dave, are you coming to the ONA Animation Festival? Right. I go, I'm not sure if I can get in. You know, I didn't buy a ticket. You know, right. it's sold out. Ticketmaster, Ronnie. He goes, I'll get you in. I felt cornered. <laughs> 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 that is a good man. And he's my drinking buddy today. Wow. Yeah. You see me yeah. drinking? Yeah. yeah. You realize he's yeah. just sitting next to you. He's not actually <laughs> drinking with you. And moving away. <laughs> my as, drinking as buddy. <laughs> he's just in the same room. <laughs> Do some shots, man. Tito's. It's not often that you can sit around and watch someone you know piss their life away. <laughs> yeah. You got a kid now. Yeah. What's your kid's name? Quick. Um. Juliana. Good, all right. He, knew, he still knows <laughs> Juliana. it. Juliana. <laughs> She's a good little baby, it, too. But She's a good it, little bitch. I know. All right. Yes, tell okay. people. Okay. That's your baby. Um, oh. She's a good, good girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yesterday, uh, my wife goes, does she even have nipples? Oh, and I go, yeah, I'll find, I'll find them. So I took a, a, like a little pen. Don't worry. It's not permanent. And I circled them. <laughs> Dude, can I tell you something? What's that? They'll take your kid away. <laughs> all right? The kind of stuff that you'll say, they'll right. call me to take your kid away. I'm just highlighting what I did. That's all. You can't draw on a baby's <laughs> nipples. <laughs> I circled them. I didn't draw on them. That's a question you never want to hear in court. <laughs> right. Who drew on the baby's nipples? Here's another thing. This might help you. Yeah. When you think to yourself, hey, I got a great uh, story from my personal life, uh -huh. don't tell it. <laughs> <laughs> what? You you would be surprised how much more your family will like you when you don't use them as show fodder. <laughs> <laughs> My mom gave me the guilt trip yesterday, too. Why? Oh, you don't want to come down for July 4th? <laughs> I go, Mom, I don't. I want to go on a boat with Magic Music Jeff and Angry Missy. Pure yeah. and simple. I didn't say any of that. <laughs> <laughs> I said, looks like I'm coming down July 4th, Petey. Old bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, though. Uh, here's Fred. Fred, you're on Run of Fez. How you doing today? Yeah. Okay, I was, uh, my buddy Tito down there, he started making that, believe this or not, started making Tito's vodka out of a water heater. Out of a water heater? So Yeah, that's where he started. He started it out. He took all his money, put it all into this, and nobody believed he could make good vodka. He started it out of a water heater. Now his place is gigantic. He's it's the best. Incredible. Tito. To Tito. I love him. To Tito, baby. To Tito. To Tito. To Tito. Oh. Fucking Tito. Yeah. yeah. Hey, did we ever know the virus had so many Austin listeners? <laughs> we, we're the That's mighty, a, mighty Austin. Uh, <laughs> we should be playing more Tex-Mex music. Yeah. It's good to know. Robert Rodriguez stuff. Uh oh, he's talking. No, because yeah. Austin's hip uh -huh. and yeah. 202's hip, baby. <laughs> like your grandma. <laughs> she needs a hip replacement. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Even... That's a bizarre stare he's got. 
That's creepy. <laughs> What's wrong with you? But they're I'm sitting <laughs> here. We're drinking together. Don't go over there. Well, he's got frog eyes. Don't go over there. Come, come back I'm with hang me. With the hero. I guess he doesn't get your funny jokes. <laughs> <laughs> come back with me. Come on. Yeah. Did you really think you had a line though? Like, <laughs> oh did. wait, hip meaning Re cool. Yeah. I'll ch I'll tie that in with hip replacement. <laughs> right. Didn't work at all. Thinking, oh man, that was gonna <laughs> die. They're gonna love it. Face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Adam, Adam, you're on Fez. Hey, guys, how are you? First of all, how about a toast to Opie for saving a life yesterday? Oh, uh, thank you, thank you. Enough yeah. about that, hey, though, please. Dave, the here. reason why I know you're an alcoholic is that your personality changed the second Ron, sem Ron sent someone to get a bottle. I mean, it's been eight minutes since you took your, took your first shot, and you're, you're annihilated. You know, uh, yeah, that. You know, I am I'm not recovering. annihilated. <laughs> that means your liver you know, isn't working anymore. You get that idea in your head? Don't you know everything, drunk. Adrian? <laughs> Don't you, aren't you the Doctor Phil of the fucking uh, callers? <laughs> <laughs> His name's Adam. <laughs> it's been all right, it's been eight and a half minutes since you took that first shot. So what? I'm having Dave, a good time. Opie and I are <laughs> knocking them back. Dave, even, <laughs> even if you shot the, the vodka into your veins, you wouldn't be drunk that quickly. Nice Hunter Thompson reference. I fucking read, bitch. Tito's, Ronnie. Tito's. Tito's. And you know what? I just want to say this, too. I love Ron Fez. Oh. I love XM. <laughs> Who else you love? I don't love that Wicklin, though. No. Right. You don't love him? No. Give me the bottle. I'll drink to that one. <laughs> <laughs> Here's an extra hundred dollars, Dave. <laughs> Dave, yep. I know you asked for a raise, and you just had a child. <laughs> well, here's one hundred dollars a month. <laughs> One hundred dollars oh. per month. I love hearing you piss your career away. <laughs> <laughs> Ron, he gave me a hundred bucks. I know. And you see how I'm laughing and Opie's laughing? <laughs> yeah. You're not us. <laughs> you don't have... <laughs> it's Tito's, though. No. Don. I'm laughing because I remember those days. Yeah. <laughs> it's Tito's, Donnie. All right. I shot for Don Wicklin. Yeah, uh, I like the little For guy. the hundred dollar raise. There you go. Mm. Oh, my God. <sighs> I got no problems with Donnie Wicklin. Yeah, I can tell by the way you do his voice. Here you do. One hundred and eighty five dollars. It's gone up. I can't give you a lot of money. I need it. <laughs> it's not his. <laughs> he works for a company. I can't give you money. <laughs> And by the way, that's $185 you don't deserve. Because <laughs> I work with you and you're useless. Ron, I put together board gossips every Friday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those things are amazing. <laughs> Here's something no one cares about. Six minutes of dead air. <laughs> Done in a funny voice. <laughs> Do you have any like regular gossip? Do you know anything that we don't know? Anything going on behind the scenes? Yeah, I know something. I was going to save it for BG. Yeah. Uh, but I, I can tell you something. that <laughs> I, I'll just give it to you right now. Who's it about? It's about some co-workers here. What are you doing? I'm pointing <laughs> star every time it's radio. <laughs> what are you doing? Who are you pointing at? I heard that the Mr. Pitsy, who was going to get married, right. was all over Sam from the Opie and Anthony show's girlfriend. Really? On At the ONA Animation Festival. Drunk as a skunk, feeling her. Now, I saw uh, Pitsy. Th what was he doing? Feeling her up. <laughs> is that true? That's with a capital true. F. Wow, and we're getting I, some nods of uh, feeling. Uh, that really happened? That happened, Belly. Belly? <laughs> <laughs> Where's Sam? <laughs> Who's Deli? Here's Sam. All right, Sam, get in here. <laughs> I meant to call Mr. B. Bubby. And <laughs> doing? Sam, did you know about this story? Yes, I did. Really? Yes. He was my spy in that story. <laughs> <laughs> he shouldn't be. All right, here's a little gossip. My girlfriend was getting manhandled by Pitsy. Now, why did that happen? By the way, how's your girlfriend doing? She's fine. Well, you think she's doing okay? She's good. She, yes, yesterday, she's still fine. Yeah, all right. But yeah. she's all right. Yes, she's fine. Okay, she's where's she at now? Work? Well, she had a half day, so she went home. Nice. So Take a shower, whatever. No, I don't know what she did. I, know, I don't know either. <laughs> I'm just asking. So where were you when this happened? Well, I was working at the animation fest. I saw you that night. You weren't working. I was working. <laughs> you walk around. 
OB, I love you, but these guys that work for you are stealing. <laughs> no. They no. are stealing. He was selling candy out of his head. <laughs> Look, I was with uh, the tech Pez guys. Joke. What's that? Pez joke? He well, has candy in his head. I, okay. I'm with you, Fez. <laughs> It's an old bit. It, yeah, that's I know. I should try one from the NEW days. Now. I I was pointing out that it wasn't his. <laughs> I was Go with ahead. the tech guys, right? And so at the end of the night, I come back and and Jess tells me that she basically Pitts forced his way to second base with her. Second base. She, she couldn't believe what had Titties, happened. Titties, Ron. That's touching the breast. Titties. He's 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 trying to tell her that he's getting married. Right. Talking about his ring. And in the meantime, is grabbing up her arms, holding onto her stomach, grabs her thigh. He is a really hands-on drunk. Can I tell you? Hits- I, I saw the same thing happen, but it wasn't Pitsy and your chick. It was Patrice and HDG. Oh, <laughs> and then another time, I saw Patrice just choking out Julie the Brazilian girl. And I'm like, someone's going to shoot Patrice by the end of the night. It's the only way you can be stopped. All right, Pitsy, do you even remember doing this? Um, yeah, I remember some of it, and I think that there was a lot of weirdos there, so I was trying to usher her around. I, no. Can I just point out something? Wait, yeah. <laughs> Steve C. asked you to come help, right? Yes. Why would you be drinking? Um, I actually was there just to make sure you guys got in okay. No, I didn't need that. Why is he calling our fans weirdos? Yeah. Yeah, what the fuck, man? Yeah. He's, the one, he's the one molesting people, trying right. to protect from what? Well, I mean, I helped out, and I helped out in the front in the beginning, and then my time was done, so then I had a few drinks. And then touched a co-worker's fiancé. Girlfriend. Fiancé. <laughs> you two are getting married. On You're going to do the right thing. Close enough. He hit well, her on the nipple, too. Are That's, you serious? Yes. I think he flicked it. What? Why? And maybe some tongue. Tongue? In her asshole. You know what? You know what? That's the Tito's. Oh, yeah. That's the Tito's. Are you sure? That's Tito's. Tito's. What? So, uh, <laughs> would you like to say anything right now, Pitsy? Well, I want to apologize first and foremost to Jess. I was a little out of line. Why use your name? Hey, let me ask you another thing. What about your fiance, Toothpick Vic? <laughs> what is she going to say? She's not Anthony. Gonna... <laughs> I'm not even engaged to you yet. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's not gonna be happy about this. But oh, um... you know the best thing you've ever done is get off Long Island. Yeah. I don't know how you grew up there. I find it the most frightening place in the whole it world. It is a scary joint, man. It's bad. I, I left at 18. I... I drove past uh, Opie's apartment uh, on the way to the hospital <laughs> the day my baby was getting born. Which which apartment? And I, so I, I told my wife, let's just like <laughs> slow down the car, and I took a couple of shots on my cell phone, <laughs> if you don't mind. Well, I, you, I know. Let me see the picture. Uh, you know what? Th- thanks for admitting this, Tito. <laughs> <laughs> somewhere. Uh, there somewhere. I raised it's them. It's odd how the board gossips about yourself. I also got a picture of the Jonas Brothers yesterday. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, a video of Jonas Brothers, if you want to hear it. Yeah, sure. Now, what are you doing near the Jonas Brothers? Aren't they little kids? Yeah, they. <laughs> I saw them yesterday. Where? When you were outside their hotel? Yeah, the, the when I when I yelled Jonas at the little, the uh, little one, he really got freaked out. <laughs> How much Cheetos did you have at that point? Yeah. Cheetos, Tito's. No. Now why would you yell? It's the Jonas Brothers at that point. <laughs> they were right across the street, the Directors Guild, and I'm walking. Oh out. yeah, I saw them when I went by, but I didn't know it was there was a bunch of people waiting outside there last night. But I mean, they came. Yeah, they came out again at like six thirty or whatever. Yeah, and um, I was the only adult male there yelling. Jonas! <laughs> like their first name is Jonas. So fucked up. No, nobody was even there to get the joke with you. It's just you <laughs> standing alone. And then I took a creepy uh, video of uh, this girl <laughs> pretending I didn't see them. <laughs> so I'm pretending that I didn't see them, even though she clearly saw me <laughs> screaming Jonas at them. Now, why would you take. <laughs> Where'd they go? Did they leave? <laughs> All right, uh, she's 12. Do you see them? Yeah. What do they look like? Uh, they look like this. Oh, cool. Thank you. 
All right, you're going to go to hell. Then, <laughs> I was told by her mother to stop talking to my children. That's a... Uh, you know what? Ch- take that you're wearing the number one dad uh, shirt. Yeah. Uh, scratch out number one and put in worst dad. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Dude, that's a beautiful shirt. All right, Pitsy, are, are you going to quit for what you did? <laughs> she doesn't want to go to show events anymore, she said. Oh, is that right? <gasps> yeah, she said if people are, like, it's one thing to joke around, mm-hmm. but it, she's getting touched. Yeah. I will pull myself out of any show events. Related Why don't you pull yourself out of this show? <laughs> Uh, this is something you should quit for. You think so? Yes. Walk out now and have some dignity. Walk up the LIE. That's a long walk. No, I want to apologize to Jess and Sam and everybody involved. I was out of line. A little too much drinking. I apologize. Why is he drinking at a show event, Fez? You're the executive producer, right? Yeah. And then you got another guy uh, screaming at children across the street <laughs> from where we work as he's drinking vodka. Well, that was before the Tito's. <laughs> but I was anticipating Tito's. With that. I just want to say I love Ronnie B so much. Oh. I love Opie too. And Fez. Thanks. Can how come we you, like hug? Maybe? How come you never make up songs about us? Oh, I made up songs. What? When I walk in the sky, the sky. I think of O.P. Hughes. <laughs> I don't know why I get the O and A blues. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little song I sang. He got choked up at the end. <laughs> <laughs> I'm He's, I'm I'm that metal when I drink. I'm yeah. not a bad drunk. I'm not an angry, pitsy, fucking molester <laughs> drunk. I'm a happy... Well, Irish drinking. Why, why drunk. is it with the Irish drink they gotta go that high with their voice? <laughs> <laughs> why can't they just sing like a man? <laughs> That's how we were taught. Yeah. I love the cigars. Ron smokes. I'd once like to be invited for Ronnie B. Talk. That's a song I wrote your songs yesterday. Are two lines. <laughs> All your songs are two fucking stupid lines. <laughs> and then they're done. Uh, here's Elizabeth. Elizabeth, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Hey, Ron. Hey, Fez. Hey, Opie. Hey. Um, I'm willing to uh, take Juliana. I am a redhead, so I can pass her off as my own. What do you think, Dave? Uh, no, I well, like the my kids. My dad was a redheaded drunk, so I can, you know, steer her through this course in Those life. I can tell her what's houses. going to happen. <laughs> Elizabeth. <laughs> what does that mean? Something about greenhouses or, I don't know, fucking... The greenhouse effect. Botanist. You're drunk. You're drunk, she says. <laughs> like you're any better, Beth? <laughs> yep. And don't call me Beth. You don't know me, cock troll. I fucking know you, Beth. Do ya? Yeah, I do. Do ya? Oh, fuck you, <laughs> Fuck you. Have another drink. Make your daughter proud. I might! Go ahead. Here's a sweet You're in a jungle, gonna baby! Take on you you <laughs> want to die! Here's a sweet on you, Julie. <laughs> and why was that your response? Because I fucking Axl rose her ass. <laughs> you know who Axl Rose is? Oh, she's gone. Yeah. She fucking fled like a coward. I wrote a song for Fez. What? I love Fez. I'll always get his back. Fez is the best. I'll prevent his next heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Why laugh through that part, Dave? <laughs> what? Because it's funny you had a heart attack. <laughs> it's hysterical. Sorry. Get it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but that's Tito's. That's not me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't mind taking you around to school kids now and show why they shouldn't drink. <laughs> you don't want to end up like this, do you? No. Living in Brooklyn. Rent too high. <laughs> Fuck happened. <laughs> oh, family. This is a radio bit that went bad. Your life. I love my wife. What's that? I love my wife. That's good. Stay with the bit. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I like her too. You like the baby? Yeah. You like her? Yeah, she's alright. A lot of crying. A lot of beep 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 Every night, Mr. B. Yeah. I was up from midnight to four last night. The thing is, like, this time a year ago, you were up midnight to four. Why do you bitch now? You never sleep. Yeah. 
But at least I was able to play video games and stuff like that. You're mm -hmm. constantly holding the bottle or rubbing their backs and shit. Yeah, well, you're so young, this happened to you at age 30. <laughs> so it's really hard to give up your baby years. <laughs> I love you, baby J. This one's for my daughter, Mr. B. Oh, this is a shot of alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it means a lot to her. Tito's! I would love to get your little fucking ass tattooed with Tito's. <laughs> My baby. <laughs> you would get your baby tattooed <laughs> with a new brand of liquor. That you're drinking. Yeah. Mm. Oh, God bless you. By the way, he's getting a brand next week on his ass. Really? Wednesday. Yeah, yep. he's getting his ass branded. Wednesday. What is it going to be on? What are you going to get? Ichiban, baby. All right, Ichiban, a bit that's four days old. <laughs> <laughs> it's not sure one. has a shelf life Yeah, yet. That's not, wonderful. Nothing we ever do has a shelf life. <laughs> <laughs> that's... The That's shit's great. number one. It'll never stop being number one. Hey, can we go out tonight? Yeah. Do something. Yeah. yeah. Opie. <laughs> you know where Opie lives. Swing I do. By. I saw it. I'm not going to say the address. Don't worry. Write it down. I fucking know it. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> what gives you the right to know where he lives? How would you do, I I even find this out? Well, the internet and shit like that, and then... On the, um... Hey! <laughs> he does know. <laughs> on the, uh... <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'll write more stuff. And do a drawing of the building. What the hell? <laughs> An artist rendering. No big deal. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Shit, man. They're stalking me. And you drive by his house and you take video of his building. I did, yeah. On, my, uh, on the way to the hospital, and I said, let's just slow down the car a little bit. That's but, right, I did make my wife I, drive. <laughs> wait, you live in Brooklyn. She knew the way. <laughs> you lived Your wife drove herself to have the baby? She knew the way. <laughs> Oh, number one dad. She's a better city driver than me. <laughs> What's more I'm not good in city driver. I'm good on the What's parkway. more disturbing, though, you live in Brooklyn, but you found time to to get to my place, which yeah. is not on the way <laughs> to the hospital. <laughs> no, I know. We had a slight detour. Big deal. What? I wanted some shots. <laughs> now, even I thought yeah, I could run into you or something like it that. Would, it would be a way out of the way detour. I thought there was a chance maybe I could spot you and then be like, hey, I'm just driving, you know, my wife's in labor, but, you know, we want to get some soup or something. I don't know what the fuck you guys soup. do over there. I'm very yeah. suspicious because the kid was born on my birth, uh, my birthday as well. Yeah. Right. yeah, so. We're linked for life. Yeah, wonderful. <laughs> uh, why don't you do this? Break his feet so he can't get away from you. <laughs> and then you'll always be his number one fan. <laughs> Ichiban. Uh, here's uh, Hunter. Hunter, you're a run of Fez. Hey, guys. What happened, whatever happened to not drinking around Fez at all, or even drinking in general? I lasted, I lasted th th two to three weeks with that, and I was proud of that. And he lasted longer than most, right? Pitsy went out yeah. first. Now, we have a bet this summer that I'm forced to see the summer movies, and you can't see them, right? Right. Fez, have you seen any? I have not seen any. Dave, have you seen any? No. Earl? Nope. Because uh, that's a team, right? Yeah. Do you think Pitsy's seen any? I would hope not. Do you think he's seen any? Because no. we were all in on this. No, I we don't think all so. said it at the same time. I don't think so, Ron. Pitsy? Yes. Uh oh. I have saw Indiana Jones. You son of a cock bitch fuck. And guess what? what? I caught the son of a bitch saying it to somebody last night. That uh, Indiana Jones sucked, and I thought to myself, he sold out his buddies. <laughs> you son of a He that's sold the, out his buddies. And that's the movie we cared about. Oh, you fat fucking goomba. <laughs> <laughs> why Why would you think you're not part of the gang, Pitsy? I honestly thought my thing was the pasta thing, because I haven't eaten pasta. It's, it's, oh, what is he talking you. about? <laughs> Crazy shit. Have you ever heard the pasta bet on our show? No. We all said we would not see the movie. <laughs> when, when did pasta come into this? Never. Tito's my ass. <laughs> In the beginning, you said Earl couldn't vote for Obama, and I couldn't eat pasta. Oh, what? That was a joke, you cunt. <laughs> Fez says you should need pasta when you switched over to sweatpants. <laughs> I got mixed They look up. like they were filled with pasta. <laughs> he, dude, Fez, you're the executive producer. Mm hmm But you got a team that does not pull together as a team. No. My name is Pitsy. I suck at work. <laughs> My name is Pitsy. I'm a fat jerk. <laughs> That one's for you, and that's fucking Tito's. 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 I just fucking Tito's your ass.
face. Does Does Dave even like working here? Does he like all of his coworkers? Oh, I don't know. Do you like it here? I don't I know how he it. feels. Yeah. I love it so much. Even I'm though, fucking true blue. Yeah. None of these other fucking numb skulls. <laughs> this guy over here, Earl Douglas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Showing up at 11:20. <laughs> Poor shit. Is Have that what time you come in? No, not at all. That's what time he comes in. I fucking love Mr. B. I love Fez. Thank you. So much. All right? I'll do anything for you, Fezzy. Thanks, pal. How about stop drinking? I want to see this. <laughs> I love... Please? I love Opie yeah. a lot. Well, you even know where he lives. And i just like to say this, Ron. Yeah. I love Ron Fez. <laughs> <laughs> you sons of bitches. I fucking... Oh, by the way. On a 6 to noon, that's for Sam. <laughs> <laughs> on a six to noon, Tito's. That's for Tito's. <laughs> so you're having a bad day today, huh, Pitsy? Yes, I am. You sold out your friends and you molested a co-worker's fiance. Guys, <laughs> uh, it's just my girlfriend. The fiance. I do, I do have to say thank you because now uh, every single time I get into a fight with her, she brings up the fact that I fake proposed to her on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> so that's also something that really helped a lot in the long run. You got to wrap that up, Sam. I agree 100 percent because you're you're dating over your head, brother. Why? Well, you know, She's fantastic. Yeah, so I'm not saying anything bad about her, but we take it nice and slow, still young, you know, having fun. But what are you going to do when she meets somebody who doesn't have hair like you? We, I'll be like, look at him. Look at me. Oh, jeez. Don't, don't go with that strategy. Speaking of that. <laughs> Sam sure has a scratched itch. And boy, Sam's girlfriend's a hot little bitch. He knows. Nice hair, by the way, Dave. <laughs> what are you talking about? See that nice you've hair. shaved your head? I'm I have not. Trying. I ain't fucking shaved He's my head. He's still in the Zafro thing. He's still in the Zafro thing. That's the way his hair's all... fucking talking That's about. That's when he started growing it. No, yeah. no, no. Your hair was longer before. Mm -mm. Bullshit! What are you talking yes, about? No fucking freak. Before you had the kid, your hair was very long, and then no. we shaved it down the middle. Absolutely not. You guys I'm, shaved it down I'm, the middle, and it's grown you back. You shaved it? So, so if you're allowed to shave it, the barber's allowed to shave the sides. I am the man. What? Oh my god. <laughs> no, you lost. I'm fucking, I never you shaved just, my head. Ron, you did just I shave said my the head? barber shaved his side. <laughs> he did, yeah. <laughs> and you, you shaved it. it because, and you shaved the middle. So you just said you cut your hair. No, the well, barber no, did. didn't. The oh, barber the, the, the did. fucking running. Here's uh, Jason. Thank you, Mr. B. Okay, so we exiled Mooch to make room for Pitsy, Earl, and uh, Drunken Dave. I think Ronnie needs to make an appointment at Four Winds. I really should. I should check into a nut hut and fucking just say I don't know what I'm doing with my life. <laughs> I'm really, sometimes when I look at my show, I hope that this is like a Matrix thing. And <laughs> the real Ron is in a pod somewhere. And this is just a computer world. No, Mr. B. What? We're having a good time over here. Please. This ain't the Matrix. This is the red pill right here. <laughs> the fucking Tito's. Everyone's in a great mood. Everyone's drinking. So they You're offered the him the drinking. You're the only one. Yeah. The blue Me pill or the, drinking. or the vodka? The Tito's. You're a good guy. Thanks. Opie's a good guy. Mr. B's a good guy. Fez's a good guy. Who Let's fucking party. Who isn't a good guy? Who's on your nerves today? Yeah. Because he's on my nerves. <laughs> really? I'm going to put the Tito's back for a second. <laughs> He saw Indiana Jones. You know how much I care about I bought Ron Bennington two very big-time cigars today. Mm, yeah, you got them at a place called Generics. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a good brand? Yeah. <laughs> that, those are Mustazos cigars. <laughs> Who? What kind? Mustazos. Yeah. Isn't that I'm the not dad sure. of Lion King? <laughs> Some sort of Latin country, but as long as, as, long as it's below our border. Anything south of Texas, I say it's a good fucking cigar. Good one. Thanks for going to get this too at this place between 56th and 57th. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to go to Brooklyn. I don't know anything. Yeah. Oh, very nice of you, Dave. Seriously. What are you going to do to Pitsy now? Well, I just feel like Pitsy sold my balls to the river. <laughs> because True. we for how much? We may have packed not to see Indiana Jones and he goes and fucking see and Harrison Ford's my favorite actor, not his. And he goes and fucking sucks Harry off. Fuck you. Why would he do that? Uh Pitsy doesn't <laughs> look at the clock. Pitsy did it. Cause he's an Italian cock. Now you you have to deal with stuff like this all the time. I gotta deal with it a lot, man. I get disappointed. Tito. 
Tito's. Tito's. A little Tito's. Some Tito's. I have to deal with it. Yeah. You're slowing down, by the way. He is slowing down. It's very noticeable. And after what you've been through today. I've been through a lot, Ronnie. You've been through a real lot. Maybe there's only a way to show off this kid. Yeah. And that's a shirts off, dance off. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Earl, cue some music. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's A-style. it. style That's your style. There it goes. Yeah! yeah! Shirt Come off, on. dance off. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's run it. Let's go. 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 let us go 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 Three years ago. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. Almost broke my ankle there. Come on, maniac. He's the maniac. Come on, That's work Dave. It. Work yeah, it. Man. Work the room. Come on. And then, you know what I do, Mr. B? I do yeah. this to keep it in shape. Yeah. And I do fucking shadow boxes like this. Boom. Oh. Left. Left. Wait a minute. Is that Dave or is that a robot? He's doing the robot. <laughs> no, Mr. B. <laughs> it's the robot time. Oh. I can't. Yes, it's the worm. He's doing the worm. <laughs> Hello. Hey. <laughs> that is good. He's that's popping. A, that's a thick worm. <laughs> He's popping. There you go. That's not, that's not one of my better ones, the worm. <laughs> you got any more? Ronnie, this is what you get for a $100 raise. Huh? Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. $100, Dave. I'm Don Wicklin. Opie's personal robot. <laughs> I'll do whatever he said. If Opie says give Dave 10 grand, I'll give it to him. <laughs> Opie didn't say that, though. When we said do the robot. Opie didn't say shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're a maniac. I'm <laughs> Come on, bring that camera over here, Nico. I'm looking at you, I'll get right on your ass. I'll get right on your ass. Right on your ass. Right, on your ass. right, right. right. <laughs> what the hell is he doing? That was some balanced shit, though. He's dancing. You know what he's doing. Dancing. He's dancing his heart out. Tito's vodka and workout videos. <laughs> Oh man, those kids I from love Brooklyn, too, they baby. sure love dancing. <laughs> <laughs> love dancing. <laughs> 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 All right, take a rest now. Let's let's get a rest. That was video. fun. Ooh, yeah. Let's get a rest. The thing. Tito's. Let's get a rest. Tito's. How you God. doing? You doing okay? I love it, Mel. <laughs> Am I doing okay? <laughs> the fucking sunshine. Right, the sunshine. The birds be uh, buzzing or something. Whatever. Yep, the birds are buzzing. Mm. <laughs> That's what happens, baby, on Friday. Fez, you two. and uh, Earl are taking care of him after three o'clock today. <laughs> okay, making sure he gets home okay. Cab my ass up. You know Pitching. why you gotta take care of him? Why? Because he's a maniac. Oh yeah, yeah. He's a maniac. Oh no! There comes the Where's maniac. Where's my theme music? Just my footsteps. Yeah, Simple. you got you gotta hit it from a hook, Daryl. There he goes. I do kind of like the intro, though. He's working the hips. Sort of sexy. Yeah. Where's the chorus? I don't know. How long does it take? I gotta get a. I gotta get a producer. Oh, what's that? What's that? I'm pointing at the fucking poster. <laughs> I'm pointing at Opie. Yeah. On the poster. Right. <laughs> He's right here. So I can point at him at the yeah. poster and him at the same time. All right, wait a minute. There he is. He's dancing. There he goes. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Do it. Yeah. Come on! <laughs> Why, is he's he's Why is he He's molesting the Opie what? picture. Yeah. Why are you molesting we're, me? We're drinking together, bud! <laughs> oh, you are a good looking You man. know what? Put him back on the wall where he belongs. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Try off the poster. <laughs> I love that old girl, Mr. B. <laughs> His like she never you know what? Is. He can invent. He can invent dances. Like do the jet plane. Oh, the jet, the jet plane. Look at the jet plane. Look at him go. Uh oh, watch out. He's doing the bulldozer. Yeah, look at him. <laughs> it's a slow dance. Yeah. 
Yeah. You didn't know he could invent uh, dances? I had no idea he could invent yeah. dances. Watch out for the eagle. Squack haw! Squack haw! Squack haw! Yeah, Oh, okay. Tito's! 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 Needs a Tito's. Bring the music down. Tito's break real quick. Or bring the music down. He needs a Tito's. Kaya, get your nourishment. I need a Tito's. Get your nourishment. Can help me if I get sober? Get your nourishment. All right, easy. Easy, big girl. I love Tito's. I know you do. A little Coca Cola. <laughs> that has vodka in it. <laughs> That's good. Amazing. He likes the vodka chaser. A little pinch. It's amazing to me. A little pinch, Mister Opie. Big deal. I hear my voice. What is it going on? <laughs> You're a little tired from throwing the eagle. <laughs> Can we play any more games? <laughs> <laughs> is that it? <laughs> Well, you know, we can always do impressions. Oh, yeah. I love doing impressions. Yeah. Hi. I'm fucking gay. I'm <laughs> Wicklin. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. That's your best one, huh? Yeah, that's the best one you do. Hi. I come to see Ron Fez all the time and pretend I don't know Dave. My name is Eric Logan. <laughs> That's a good Eric Logan. Oh, Ron is I refuse to give Ron and Fez popcorn on Popcorn Fridays. I'm the Joe Brooks Berenson. <laughs> I, I just know it was Bruce as soon as you yelled, Oi, Ben. <laughs> I, I know I don't know whether you guys know this, but last week during the employee appreciation week, uh, there was no popcorn Friday. They just <laughs> gave up after yeah. Wednesday. And I heard Earl trying to finagle a Scotch Friday with him, Bruce Berenson, and someone else. And like he didn't even mention Ron Fez the whole time. And well, this happened to this morning. Going out for Scotch? Fucking nice. A Tito was on my on my soul. First of all first of all, Stu Pigeon Dave. Eavesdropper Dave. It was a joke. It was a joke. It wasn't a joke it because a, you made it's specific a bit. Why can't you get it? It's just a bit. <laughs> you made specific plans. You're gonna That's meet it. them at that 415. Wasn't a specific plans. Are you what, crazy? What's the plan? Drink. What did you hear? They're, they're gonna meet You come running at, back to me when you have gossip. I will. Yeah. They're, they're gonna meet at four thirty today uh -huh. at Lincoln Center for a Scotch party. Bruce Berenson, Earl Douglas, and some Fucking asshole claims to be my cousin over there. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where did I don't even understand the story. Pitsy this? knows it better than, than me. This is bizarre, guys. Pitsy and Lily ran into him. Yeah, the kid's last name is Range, which is... Um, my mom's maiden name. Mom's maiden name. And the, he said that Genevieve Range is his aunt, which is my grandmother. Hmm. I've never met this fucking asshole. If you're listening, <laughs> Eric, I'll fucking kick your ass. Me and Opie are coming down at 430 <laughs> for your little fucking scotch party. The tag and, team. And Earl... Is with them instead of you? He's with them instead of me, Pitbull, Mr. Pitbull, that B. motherfucker. Pitbull. You Pitbull. motherfucker! <laughs> you gonna do that to me? Huh? I wanna be included in Scott's party. You fucking know that. I'll fucking Tito's your ass. <laughs> Why don't you act like you say it, bro? Why do you just... Stop hiding behind the oh, computer sit, screen. Sit down. Everybody sit Wait, down. Wait, what does this mean? Just this sit down. Good. Sometimes. He's you know why? Him. Here's the thing. Yeah. Everybody, just you sit down, have a little drink... I want anything calm here. I don't want anybody doing an impression of anyone else's grandmother. There's a lot of our grandmothers that passed away. Hello, True. Ron. Who, who's that? I'm Earl's grandmother. Oh, no. I love getting <laughs> fucked in the ass. All air. right. I beg for this not to happen. Dave, Hello, Julius Caesar here. <laughs> After I conquer the East, I'm going to conquer Earl's grandmother's plot. <laughs> Earl, hasn't your grandmother passed away? Yeah, she's she's dead. Yes. Hi, I'm what Nostradamus. I Earl. foresee me Fucking Earl's grandmother in the mouth. <laughs> Earl. Oh, what, give it to me, Nostradamus. What happened to your grandmother? How did she pass away? She passed away after a very long illness. No, oh, I didn't. But... I passed away by getting fucked too hard by Napoleon. <laughs> That's right. Earl, I, you're That's Baptist, accent, right? I yes, I am. They don't have sex in heaven, do they? There's right. not going to be a bunch of old world leaders having sex with your oh, grandmother. Oh, Ron. Who's that? Our old grandmother here. <laughs> no. We have lots of sex. <laughs> Isn't that right, Freud? That's absolutely right. Your mind is working clear as a bell, and so is your asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I came in it three times last night. All right. Oh, it's dead Earl. Grandma <laughs> Douglas. All right, stop. Your asshole. You're, stop. No, I love that woman, Dave. She doesn't love you. <laughs> <laughs> no, Earl, your grandmother... She's the, the her pictures on the maple syrup. Is that her? No, she is not. On well, the, who's that? 
<laughs> that that is Aunt Jemima. Oh, Aunt Jemima, I get them wow. confused. Ron Earl's grandmother here. Yeah. My picture's on the bottle of maple cum. <laughs> <laughs> I drink it so much mm. every day. They make maple cum? Yes. In heaven they do. Oh. <laughs> That would bother me, but, uh, you know, that's not my grandmother, I guess. Hello, Hitler here. Oh, hi, Hitler. I just got done Calm fucking down. the shit right, out of her Earl? grandmother. Earl? I just yeah. fucked you her You know up. he's been drinking. Yes, I know he's, he's been fucking drinking. fucking Tito's, man. What did I do? What did I do? What did he do? Soaking my family. I ain't saying it. Please. Fucking I ain't say shit. Come on. Relax. When did your grandmother die? Show no. here, for Christ's sake. Uh, she fresh. died in 2004. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. B.C. Actually, I died in 1999. Well, what's the joke? <laughs> oh, no. oh my God. I thought there would be like a prince. Oh, yeah, there was. Yeah. <coughs> I died in 1999 sexually <laughs> because Earl's grandfather couldn't fuck me. Oh, oh, I am Earl's oh, grandfather. Oh, I want oh, fucking oh, impotent. Oh. oh. No, Isn't your grandfather so dead too, Earl? Yes, he died. Hi, I'm Earl's grandfather. grandfather. I'm fucking gay as fuck. <laughs> how did your gra how did your grandfather die, Earl? Uh, he died of brain cancer. Ah, uh, sickle cell. No, not sickle cell. <laughs> you get a lot of that, right? No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I got my brain cancer from Rock Hudson. I'm so fucking gay. Oh, oh, oh. I'm Earl's grandfather. I love fucking boys in heaven. Oh, <laughs> Andy Rooney. Becky <laughs> 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 Becky Rooney's alive oh, too. Yeah. You're picking up old men that are well, so Well, when he gets to heaven, he's going to be a little <laughs> fat boy. Calm down, Dave. Now, fuck his little fat cock. All right. Earl? How come you don't yes. fuck me like all that, right. Earl's grandfather? I don't want this to be all about you and your family. This isn't Roots, Earl. <laughs> We're trying to do a show here today. It's not Roots. Hey, I'm Earl's uncle. The late great Uncle Jeebus. <laughs> That's the one who just passed. Now, what happened? And I love <laughs> raping women. Oh, oh, right. Is that okay. true, Earl? No, my my uncle, he passed away uh, like uh, earlier this spring. He was a sweet man. Oh. Hi, this is uncle's, <laughs> this is Earl's Stop great, uncle, great Stop aunt it. May. Stop and I cut my tits off. <laughs> All right, Earl. Oh, Earl's choking. Earl, stop it. Earl's on him. Oh, Earl. Oh, Earl, stop oh, it. Why does it ain't Earl? Break it up, you two. Come on. Stop. Break it up. Oh, boy. He knows, man. What did I do? I didn't say it. You didn't do anything. Earl, no. get back. You went a little too far, Dave. No, you crossed the line, Earl. I didn't yeah. say anything. Earl. He's, he's insulting the dead. <laughs> you got any living members of the family of yours? Yes, we got plenty of living members. Jesus. Just mentioning everyone that's died. It was very dear to me. Who's that? Said my grandparents. I love them to death. Didn't your grandparents so. uh, call Rosa Parks uppity and say, get back here with us? <laughs> <laughs> Not at Don't all. start trouble. <laughs> Don't start trouble. We're fine back here. Don't listen to her. Hi, it's Leonard here. All right, stop. Earl's brother who died at birth. Oh. <laughs> Earl. <laughs> Not have a brother who died at birth. Stillborn? I like to cut Not my cock off and fuck my cock with it. Oh. Oh. That's right. She likes baby cock. Oh. Baby dead Earl's brother who died at stillborn birth cock. <laughs> That's pretty oh. good, Tito. You're really keeping it together. Tito's. All right, sit down. Or I'm you trying to. Too. I didn't even say anything. And the guy fucking attacks me in front of Opie. It makes me feel like a jerk. I know. Well, I'll tell you what. You defended yourself pretty good. Thank you. I thought you did. Well. <laughs> you know right, what Ron? you might want to do is put your hands up. When you're attacked, <laughs> yeah. it's just, don't keep your hands at your side. He's hard to see. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the marks on your neck. I know. He choked me. <laughs> you made me really, really look like a jerk in front of Opie today. <laughs> Oh, no, no. now he's upset. Uh, he's throwing his papers. What does no, that don't mean? throw those Tic Tacs. What does that mean? Nude he wrestling? He was here. Opie was here to enjoy <laughs> the ride no. that show. Nude a professional wrestling? professional fucking show. He no, said Dave, nude wrestling, I'm he, thinking. He's afraid to nude wrestle. Oh, don't you, say nude wrestling? Like, no, don't bring up something well, he's what? afraid of. I'm not, afraid of it. <laughs> what? Not when you don't. <laughs> Dude. Who's in? <laughs> Who's fucking in, man? Who, who are you going to nude uh, wrestle? Play to the crowd. Yeah. Don't, because Earl don't want to nude wrestle. Yeah. Earl want to nude wrestle me? No. no. Earl does not Earl want to nude, nude wrestle. No. Nude wrestle my ass. <laughs> Who's nude wrestling, Dave? Nobody nude no? wrestles. No. <laughs> well, All right, uh, Dave. 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 Dave.
Who are you dude wrestling? I'll fucking get you, baby. <laughs> Who's, I will get you. Do you want him now? Man. How come you're still sitting down? Uh, right. <laughs> because he's... Earl, yeah. what's a nude wrestler? Bring I'm not. <laughs> say something about wrestling. his grandmother. Yeah. It's the only thing to save you. Nude wrestling. Yeah. I apologize like to his grandmother. Days. I apologize to Earl's grandmother for being such a <laughs> fucking whore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here he goes. Uh, nude right, wrestling. Nude wrestling. Yeah, nude wrestling. No. Nude watch wrestling. it. Watch it. Watch it. Be careful. Ow. Watch the nude wrestling. Ah. Oh, Earl's helping him. All right. He's, no, he's on my asshole. <laughs> All right. <laughs> No, I'm not tapping, bitch. I'm Boy, not, if this oh, isn't... All right, tapping. <coughs> if this isn't Earth 2. <laughs> Happy. I fucking tap. Get off my fucking arm. No, I'm going to actually give that to Dave because you kept your pants on. Yeah. Disqualification. Disqualification. Yeah, what's Under up? the nude wrestling mm -hmm. alliance. Tito's. The NWA. Tito's is over there. Take his bottle. Maybe yeah, take the Ooh. bottle. Replace his bottle with water. Take his bottle. Oh, no, no. Replace no, his no, bottle. No, 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 take it, take it, it Sam. I heard that. What are you going to do to get your bottle back? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm this too much. Then you have him. It's Friday, really. It's Don't give him his bottle. Give me my bottle back. What are you going to do to get your it. bottle back? What are you going to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my fucking shoes off. Yeah. And then I'm going to take my pants off. Yeah. And then I'm going to take my boxers off. All right. And then I'm going to take my socks off. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to kick fucking Sam from all his ass. <laughs> And you know, why not take a fucking bottle of Tito's away from me? Bars. And you have to be naked to do that? You're going to have to strip butt naked. You're, you're not getting it back. You're going to have to get through Mars. <laughs> That's what I do now. Get naked and tackle both of us. That's right. I can fucking get through Mars like I got through Pluto. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. That's right. How did you get through you. Pluto? <laughs> Wait, you know what you're doing now is wordplay. Take them right. off. Take them off. Give me yes. my fucking bottle of whiskey. Or you're not getting it. Fucking is. You're not getting it. I dug out his pants. He's gonna. Uh, uh, he's gonna. Uh, 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 Alright, this is disgusting. Give it nope, to me. You guys, disgusting. Nope. It's disgusting. Nope. Fuck it back. Nope. Give it back to me. Nope, it's mine now. Wait, hold on. Easy, careful. easy. Careful. Easy. Careful. easy, we have a lot of people here. Everyone be careful. He's completely naked with his dick in a cock. Why? Yeah, just for Coca Cola. Get your little fucking flunky away. <laughs> Smells good, Dave. Get him away from me. Smells good. Mars, get out of here. This is between you. This <laughs> isn't between you. Now I know why everyone's leaving my good. show to, to listen to yours. <laughs> this is great shit, man. <laughs> give me my fucking. Give me some beer, then. <laughs> Smells good over here. One but drunk, one cup. Tito's. Tito's. Don't you have a drop of that? <laughs> it's delicious. Don't you fucking touch that Tito's. That was from me from Let Austin, me Texas. Let me have the Tito's first. In the program, this is what we would call bottoming out. Yeah. Uh, you don't see it this way, though. You don't see no. this as a low. No, no, no. I just don't. I mean, how uh, old are these sneakers? <laughs> uh, they're two years old or At so. At least they're rotting. No! <laughs> no, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you your medicine. Just a little. Oh. No! Oh. Poured it in his con. Oh, no, no! Uh, little Tito's. It's right in a sneaker. And your dirty sneaker. There you go, buddy. There are Tito's in here? A little Tito. Oh, oh, there you go. Go. A little Tito's. And it's a you. shoe shot. Oh, okay, oh. a shoe shot for Dave. Oh, Tito's. Tito's. It's a Tito's. <laughs> Come on, give me some more. So now. grossed out from that. <laughs> I'm seriously oh disgusted. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Let me have my Tito's back. You know what? Are you going to put your clothes on? Yeah. Get me some can toilet. Can we trust you? Yeah. yeah let's get some clothes me. on. You Get me some toilet water, please. Oh. A little toilet water, please. Oh, God. Not from this place. I, hold on. Let's get some clothes on, Dave. <laughs> oh, he said. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Dave, I'm, I'm going to mix your next here. drink for you. This AC is not, you know, working properly, Mars. Okay. Get on that shit. <laughs> now, Those are on, Mr. this could be a bottom for you. Can I have though. Tito's, though? Or no? Not yet. I mean, if it's a bottom, at least let me go down all the way. Give me my Tito's. Right, a little more on this thing. Uh, <laughs> oh, Another oh. shoe shot. There you go. A little Tito's. Tito's. Just a little bit of Tito's from the rotting good. sneaker. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Oh, my God. <laughs> Los Tapatos. I'm so gnarled out. <laughs> to Tito's. That one didn't taste as smooth as the first. <laughs> it's probably not going to. Worst right. Father's Day ever. Dave, uh, I'm going to mix your next drink. No. Who's this guy? Uh, I don't know who that is. It's Hicks. <laughs> Hicks. Is it from the toilet? No, you're from, the toilet. All right. from the toilet, Dave, for you. 
You know you could have done this the right way for your friend and just got him spigot water. Nobody would have known the difference. <laughs> right. No one would have known the difference, but you're too awful of a person. It, this I is can't drink a whole thing of water. Yeah, that's uh, that's true. Here, pour some out of the toilet water out. There you go. How much you want, Dave? Is that good? Uh, okay. <laughs> there's, there's plenty of toilet water in there. Toilet so water. this is where you make your stand and say, no, Opie. No, don't do it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did I say, Rock? It's like Roxanne. <laughs> yeah. I want to smell the toilet no, water. No, I can't. Right. No, I can't. Day for you. I get so gnarled. Tito's and toilet water. But after I do this, I get the Tito's back. No fucking strings attached. Otherwise, I'm uh, not doing it. It's not my Ron, show. It's Ron's Ron show. Told, Ron taught me how to stand up for myself. <laughs> <laughs> and if, uh, after I I've do the toilet water and vodka, no more. <laughs> toilet water and vodka. Is that, is that fair? Thank you for <laughs> <laughs> it. Should, yeah, it'll be just you and your shame sitting there enjoying the rest of this. Okay, here we go. Toilet water and vodka. Mm -hmm. Enjoy it. Ready? Enjoy it. Enjoy oh. the magic. Oh. Oh. All right, toilet te tequila. Very nice. Oh god! <laughs> From our fucking hideous bathroom. This oh, fucking hideous bathroom. Like oh. that. Wow. There That's are specks on the bottom of the cup. Oh. oh, that was wonderful. I call that the toilet. This, our fucking bathroom is where shit goes to die. Yeah. <laughs> it is the worst place in the world. That's because, you know who gets really mad about that is Norton. And mm. I, I, I think he was the one that did that. Because he used uh. to pee on the floor to make us laugh. We're in, uh, <laughs> that is funny. A good one. No, that we, is funny. We would be in, uh, you know, stalls. And he would right. pee under the one stall and let it, you know, kind of hit your foot. And he would laugh. We would all laugh. But now that's what's going now on. Now it stinks. There. Now it's rotten. Hey, is Pat Duffy here? No, he left. Uh, Oh, fucking Pat Duffy is not a blip on the fucking East Side 202 screen. Stop it with the Pat Duffy. We have an East Side 202 screen? I'd love to see it. <laughs> when did Mars install it? Why don't you it? sit down, maniac, and relax yourself? You're making me nervous today. I do, I do want to say this. Oh. Ron Fez, the best guys of all time. I love you. Thanks. Like father's type. Okay, like father types. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, there's a specialness to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, toilet mouth. That means a lot. <laughs> this this honor. <laughs> you know, you push us, <laughs> not unfairly. You push us to be better. This is literally to serve with love as we're sitting here. <laughs> I feel like Sidney Poitier. And I just want to say I appreciate mm -hmm. Lazy Bones, Earl right, Douglas. That's Earl. Spaghetti meatball pizza doesn't fucking appreciate. I right. do. That's the difference. That is the difference. I appreciate OP, and today we're going to have some fun after the show. You know what? We're going to go out to dinner. Let's face it. Uh, you you care about OP a lot, and I know for a fact that he had to see some potential in you today. Maybe it's time to make that deal where you jump the O and A show. Are you ready? That would be. You That'd know, be great. It would be. That would be fantastic. That would be wonderful. <laughs> you, sound, you sound like you want me to go. <laughs> no, I'm going to drive a hard bargain. I'm looking for a bunch of old WoW stickers. <laughs> and I don't even know if they have them. Uh, well, the window clings. <laughs> They're very valuable, though. These are the most delicious pretzels I've ever had. They're not pretzels. <laughs> I asked for pretzels. Who gave you that? I don't know. Is Graz back from the dead? Fucking. Who gave him food? Orbit gum instead of pretzels? What happens with the After production toilet staff? toilet water, I need something yeah. to chew on. I don't Big even know deal. why anyone would even give him gum. I'm fine with the fucking toilet water, but my God, yeah. I need some dough in me. <laughs> Otherwise, that toilet water is coming up. Trust me. So, yeah. It's not going away. Yeah, it's still staying with you a little yeah. bit, huh? It's lingering. It is, Mr. B. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What what would the trade be? What would it entail? And you leaving <laughs> and me not seeing you. <laughs> and then I'm going to put a no return just... policy on that. He doesn't realize what he said. <laughs> yeah, I realize. <laughs> it would hurt a lot. I mean, what, what would my role be on the Open Anthony show? Stooge. <laughs> circus boy. Circus boy? Sideshow geek. I mean, I like the circus. sideshow guy. You know, for the goof. I am wittier than fucking those other assholes. I got, I got witty. We got witty. We got That's easy. 
You get Patrice, no oh, problem. Jimmy, no problem. Bill Burr. Yeah. But are any of those guys going to drink toilet water? They can't fucking do, drink toilet water. No. no. And you know what? Tree, Patrice is a good guy. No, you know what? He's not a good guy. I try to say hi to him every fucking time he's in there. And he ignores me. Just because I shoved a dildo in my ass and all this and bagel in my ass. And that bothered him. He was bothered. So by what? That. Yeah. To a black hey, guy. Hey, what? 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 Hey, hold on. He, he has a thought. Sam. Yep. What did he say about me? He didn't like you. Louis C.K. says he doesn't like me, and then he says he's he's acting in a movie. Oh, no, no, no. Come on, Tito's. He's acting in a movie, and his inspiration is East Side Dave. What the fuck does that mean? So he hates me. Well, you know what, Louis C.K.? I'm coming for you. I'll fucking hunt you down, bitch. Anytime you want, Ron Fez show, noon to three. Let's get in the squared circle. Does even Louis uh, C.K. know where he is? He's in the jungle, baby. You're in the jungle, baby! You're gonna die! Get in the ring, motherfucker! You heard me, Billy! Or Louie? Or your fucking name is? Or Billy. Yeah! Put your headphones on, that's it. I'm gonna get you, Louis CK! I'm gonna fucking make you pay, bitch! I'm gonna fucking get you like St. Louis riots, 92! <laughs> Slap your ass around like that fan photographer! <coughs> Woo! Louis! <laughs> Welcome to the jungle! We got oh, it's that song yet! Welcome to the jungle! We got fun and games! We got everything you want! How do we know the name? You all the people that get fine! Whatever you may need! If you got the money, honey, we got your disease in the jungle. Welcome to the jungle, won't you bring me to your... Knees, knees, you hear it, Louis? Wow, I wanna fuck you in the ass, Louis C.K. Jungle, take it day by day. If you want your goats bleed, why is the price to pay? And you're a very sexy girl, very hard to bleed. You can wear the marshal in the jungle. In the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. That's your nigga. I wanna fuck you up, Louis C.K. I wanna get you, Louis. Serpentines like poison and snakes. Woo! Come on, Slash. Come on. Oh, Axel Rose is the fucking best. Woo! Come on, Louis. You fucking bald HBO prick! Welcome to the jungle! Ouch! Be a day by day! Listen, bits and box and bolts and it's the price of money! Where am I watching you? I forget this third bird. You can never think you want it, man, you're not taking the beat! In the jungle! Louis C.K. is in the jungle! He's gonna deal with his Sunday, baby! With my cock! <laughs> with my Valtrex cock, baby! <laughs> Slash again. <laughs> Come on, Slash. Thanks for the narration. <laughs> Is it high you never? Louis C.K. so fast. So fast. So fast. So fast. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You say I gave a bad name to redheads, Lucy K! You give a bad name to redheads, you fat prick! Welcome to the jungle, Louis! I wanna fuck you up, baby! I wanna fuck you! Like all that Bob Gucci on it, Jr. <coughs> yeah! Like Nick Wall and Karen! <laughs> you know what I'm after, Louis? You all cock and balls, baby! <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you! Happy. Never heard this version. <laughs> well, <laughs> they get the box set, you know. <laughs> it's on the box set. <laughs> Come on, Louis! Come on, John Guy, 57th Street in Manhattan! Here we are! I know you live in New York, Suey <laughs> Gay! <laughs> yeah! In the jungle, welcome to the jungle. Go, you bring me some of us. Do 
Oh, for the love of Christ, start it off. Stop the song. You still don't get your Tito's. No, come on. <laughs> <laughs> he, really needs, he really needs no after I'm that. I'm sweating my ass off. How about I need we make a deal? No, there's no more deal. Tito's. Like, it's toilet water. Hear me and, out. It might be a good deal. Tito's. Belly button shots. Two belly button shots. With Earl. <laughs> oh, it's a piece of cake. Earl, would you put a shot in your belly button? Yeah. Body yeah. shot. Right. Get out there, Earl. All right. All right. All right. All right, but hold on. After this, I get my fucking bottle of Tito. Oh, well, absolutely. Yeah, of course a, you would. Why a, wouldn't you? Absolutely. Karate, You're going down on a black guy's belly? Sure. <laughs> you don't have to prove yourself to me. By the way, that uh, last four minutes was the dumbest four minutes of my entire life. <laughs> And I would just think, on some weird coincidence, Louis C.K. is traveling, just happens to turn on this station, and here's that obscene attack on him. Oh, oh, well, he, I give a bad name to Redheads. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say belly button Tito shots? I meant butt crack. Sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. Same thing. It's the same thing. So, yeah. Earl, why don't you it's both get flesh. on your belly? Not a problem. It's both flesh. You know, I got no problem with that. Earl, it's a butt crack shot. I'm sorry. <laughs> Face down and bite the pillow. Wow. Uh, bite the pillow. Again? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Again? I didn't know this happened Again? before. <laughs> I'm going to speak for Earl and I and say this hasn't happened before. Okay. If you say so. Tito, but, play it your way. Shot. I'm the console over I'm here. Fine. Right? You're over here. Let's go. Give me my goddamn Tito's. I don't care. <coughs> right out of his he wants cock. it no matter how. Lay, lay, lay down, Earl. What happened to Earl? Earl loves cock. <laughs> what, is he, what is he agree so quickly? He's, what happened? He's broken. He's finally broken. Yeah. This guy. Yeah, you he's know he's finally gonna... broken. I bet he'll ski. <laughs> we Up couldn't even go, get him to hang a picture back in no. the day. Now he's taking... All right. Yeah, you want to lay down up there, Earl, with your ass yeah. up high. Oh, like you're at your uncle's house. No. <laughs> here, here. Here's a mic. Earl, you got to keep the pants off. Uh, I got to get on the carpet. Mm, he keeps his socks on because he <laughs> loves gay sex with socks on. He, he, he likes to masturbate with his socks he on. He thinks too. if he keeps his socks on, he can't get AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> He read that somewhere. All right. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. The ass is out. For a black guy, it's pretty. Earl's got a bubble bust. Yeah, he does. Oh, freckled. Where are we pouring this? I don't know. Right. What's that? What's what? That's sickle cell. That's. <laughs> I bruise easy. Yeah, sure you do. Uh huh. Well, what you should really got to do what is. He should hey! Be <laughs> Try to fuck him. Try to fuck her. Hey! Oh, hey! If we're going to do this, let's do it right. Earl, right. hey, hold on. Earl, you got to make believe you don't like cock and you got to squeeze your butt cream. Uh, For the first time ever. All right, here we go. Don't accept. All right. That's it. There you go. Yeah, nice yeah, and yeah, tense. Yeah. Oh, I have to go in? I thought <laughs> I was going to eat it after him. Yeah. Oh my wait, God, wait, look wait. As soon as it hits the skin. Okay. As soon as it hits the skin. Go. Stop! Oh, my God. Jeez. Oh, damn. I'm going to be sick. Tito's sick. Tito's sick. Tito's sick. Tito's sick. Tito's sick. Tito's Mars, that grossed you out? What happened, Mars? What's that fag, man? <laughs> yeah, we don't judge. What are we going to do? Judge now? Oh. The guy wants to fucking drink. You fucking engineer. <laughs> <laughs> he gobbled it all up. Mars is like, Maricom. <laughs> Maricom. <laughs> oh, he's... He's combing his hair. He's so nervous. I love this. This is like when the Flintstones and the Jetsons did. Yeah, it really was. <laughs> did ass crack shots. Yeah, yeah, sure. I remember that episode. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> and he still doesn't have the Tito's in his hand. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Give me yeah. My <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Will you give me my Tito's back, please? I think you've had enough. <laughs> you can never have enough of Tito's. Earl, did Go. you enjoy that? Vodka in your ass? Not at all. I sure did, It took Rob. you less than a second <laughs> to get naked. I like my body. What can I say? At least pretend oh, it's fight Jesus a little. Jesus Christ. Oh. Like I'm uh, so proud Dave. of his ass. Mars, what's uh, grosser to you? The fact that Dave did that, the alcoholic did it for alcohol, or Earl did it just for the enjoyment of having someone, <laughs> an alcoholic, lick his ass cheeks? I'm going to say this, and this is the last time I say it. 
Okay. Earl's ass is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. It doesn't have to be the last time you say it. I don't mind kissing you, Earl, or, you know, jerking you <laughs> off. <in the> <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not gay, but that you, happen. you have very nice well, You guys skin. are very close, though. Can I, uh, Trying to be, Mr. B. Can mm -hmm. I suggest one more, and then I'll yeah. shut, shut up? I need my Tito's back. I'll be Tito's? Cool. Is it going to be another homo I spy? <laughs> like uh, the last bit? <laughs> <laughs> Tito's. Gutter shot. What is that? Outside. <laughs> oh. I can't leave the building. Really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's probably right about that. Yeah. He can't the last walk thing we this. want him is through the lobby. <laughs> yeah, he can't walk through this building or be in front of it. I don't want him even out of this uh, building until 10 o'clock. <laughs> the only thing I would say is take that bottle and lay in the street and see if, <laughs> see if anyone even notices you. <laughs> Number one dead. Oh, <laughs> so sad. Happy Father's Day. Uh, Dave, Dave, you're on the Run of Fez show. Yeah, you think Dave's wife goes to bed every night saying, what was I thinking? My wife is none of your concern, Fred. Good, that's true. Sing a song for her. She is so great. Her name is Casey. My favorite part of Seven was Kevin Spacey. <laughs> <laughs> he was the best part. Fuck Morgan Freeman. Fucking playing the old wise. You guy. just did a shot off his ass. <laughs> that was a great twist too. That you did a shot off of Earl's ass. <laughs> Seven was my favorite twist of all time. All time. All time movie twist. Seven, by far. Well, what about? The, have you seen a new movie this weekend? The Happening. No. Here's what's going on in the movie. All the people that are alive in the movie are really dead, and anyone that's dead that's really alive. What? And that's what people know. And there's a guy walking a dog in the movie, but you find out in the end that the dog is the guy and the guy is the dog. <laughs> oh. It's a fucking total twist. Is the dog alive or dead? That's what we don't know. Aww. That's up to your interpretation. <laughs> because the dog... Hey, yeah, because in this movie, everything has been twisted. Where people uh, can breathe underwater... And then fish have to pay taxes. <laughs> I don't know how M. Night Shyamalan does it. It's a swerve on everything. It's the scariest movie I ever saw. From the mind of M. Night Shyamalan. It's his, uh, it's his first R-rated movie. Yeah. yeah. Not going to happen. Yeah. No pun intended, though. <laughs> no, I predict next year uh, M. Night Shyamalan... We'll be getting to saw Slurpees. I really think <laughs> that's the direction his career is finally going. He might be our Francis Ford Coppola. We already have a Francis Ford Coppola. <laughs> his name is Francis Ford Coppola. He's a very 90s director, M. Night Shyamalan. I need some Tito's. I'm not going to fucking lie. Well, all right, just go ahead and have a little bit. Yeah, just, a just some. Bit. I'm just having a little. Yeah. Well, M. Night was saying that Lady in the Water didn't work because it wasn't a hit because it was too innocent for its time. If innocent means boring, yeah, he's right. <laughs> that fucking movie was so innocent. I, I, I fucking walked out on it and it, when it was on cable. I walked out of my house and stood out front for an hour until it was over. The fucking village was fucking garbage. Well, that's the other thing. In this new movie, The Happening... It's really modern times. Oh. It's modern. That's weird. It's been modern times, <laughs> except for everyone is dead that thinks they're alive. But, like, you see modern cars out there in the trailer. Right. So you would think it is modern times already. Right. That's not much of a twist. You see That's the twist, because you're looking for a twist, and there isn't <laughs> one. That's but the you twist. you see people, like, on cell phones and stuff. So it, we know it's modern times, I would think. The twist is the Pakistanis are making movies, uh. and we're going to see that. <laughs> That's the twist. I hate those people. Oh, I don't hate. Love. No, I mean love. Uh, I here's uh, Gunner. Gunner, you're on a fez. Hey, Dave, you have a daughter. You are such a fucking embarrassment. No oh, wonder why you Scott. drove your, mother's in, your mother into the arms of a Brooklyn man at night, you dirty fuck. Oh, oh you son of a bitch. Oh, I'll that's fucking take awful. you down, son of a bitch. You know what? You have one day a week to blow off the steam. I got one day, Mr. B. Mm -hmm. And I implore you, and let me have this fucking day. Right. Pure and simple. That's all you want. It. That's all I want. One day for yourself. I like a, a Tito's Friday. Sure. A, I like hanging out with the Opster. <laughs> Opster. <laughs> We're going to drink, maybe have some dinner tonight. Sure. Yeah. 
We're going to a... Um, What's that one? Uh, Go to Caroline's and see Louis C.K. tonight. No, fuck that guy, Ron. Yeah. I don't care for him. <laughs> <laughs> really? No. When I did give this, a bad name to Redhead. When did this start? When you did this start? He, he, Sam Roberts from all they told me about this fucking thing. Oh, you, Sam, you told him. Last time Louis C.K. was in. What did he, he say? He was disgusted by his side, Dave. He said, that guy disgusts me. And Louis C. Does he even know where he's in, at? He's in the jungle, baby. You in the jungle, <laughs> baby. <laughs> I want to say this too, Mr. B. What's that? I would like to say this too. Is it yeah. the actual Rose? That's no. no just stop it. Okay. Please stop it. Girl. He goes. Oh, he sh he shows his cock and stuff like that. Who said I, this? Oh, uh, Louis C.K. Oh, he's a oh, funny guy. Yeah, I yeah. remember. Seeing I like him. You a huge talent, really. Yeah. Is. Yeah. I, I actually remember seeing a show called Lucky Louie where he <coughs> takes his cock out and jumps into bed. But that's fine. <laughs> Louis <Really> hypocrites. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that he had this kind of problem with him? I have a big time problem. And yeah. he, say, I, I, no, he said, I give name a bad name to redheads. Yes, he did. Yes, he, he, said, he, did that, he that. said that? You yep. heard him? But, yep. then, but then he goes, but I'm using the East Side Dave for my inspiration for the movie, for the next movie I'm in. And sure, maybe he's playing a fucking, you know, mentally handicapped person, whatever. I get it. Yeah. Redheaded retard, he said. <laughs> Is that what he said? Yeah. That's what he said. That's not right. You know, I'm not retarded, Ron. No. Okay? You show me one retard who got 1420 on their SATs. Hey, easy. you people get 1420. All right, easy. No one gets 1420. I got 800 in English skills. That was before I started drinking, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's okay, now. It's fine, but I'll tell you one thing, Louie. You want a boxing match in the Hard Rock Cafe? I'll call up Johnny right now. Call him. Call Johnny. Let's try to work this out. <laughs> and Opie's in my corner. He's not in Louis C.K.'s corner. Are right. you sure? Opie does not like Louis C.K. <laughs> yeah. Opie's known for throwing the talent aside. <laughs> <laughs> so he can hook his wagon onto a goddamn loser. Let me tell you something. I wouldn't say loser. Mm. I think the L word you're looking for, Ronnie, is loyalty. That's mm. what Opie has. And he has it for East Side Day. <laughs> I'll say that. So, uh, alliteration mistake that I have. <laughs> just a matter God. of a few letters. Yeah, I, I, yep. that's how it's just easy. It's Friday. I'm tired. Sure. <laughs> the dictionary. I'll get you, Louie. One way or the other. One fucking way or the other, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Earl, do you have squishy butt? Why haven't you wiped your butt <clears throat> Why don't you go, butt clean? Yeah. Why don't you go under the sink and wash your ass out? <laughs> Wait, why do I gotta go under it? Well, what do you want to do? I mean, well, I'm gonna obviously clean it, but how? When? <laughs> Eventually. Next week. <laughs> Next Friday. You want uh, you want uh, me to get Dave to get some uh, soapy water and get a straw and blow it into your ass? No, no, no. Is no, that no, what I, you're looking for? I volunteer for that project right now. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, we I gotta clean that. it. Why don't you love me? Relax, it's palm olive. Can I, can I just ask this real quick question? <laughs> yeah, sorry one quick one. The you... gentleman over here with the red face and the number one dad shirt. Yes. I'm sorry to disrupt the show. <laughs> and I apologize for stepping on that line of day thread today. <laughs> Glad you said that. Listen to me, Earl. <laughs> why don't you love me the way I love you? That is true, Earl. Why don't you love him? But I, they you don't, don't talk to me. I, Every morning I say hello. And I say good morning or yeah, hello. No. I say hello to everyone, Dave. How do you say it? No, he goes, I'm a black man. <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't I do don't that. think he says that. <laughs> well, how do you say it, Earl, really? I'll I'm, say hello. I'll, I'll, say hello. I'll just say hello, Dave. Or hello. It's like, hi, Dave. Hi, David. So hello, formal. everyone. He's so formal, man. Hello, right. Kitty. Hi, David. What? I'm, be, I'm, well, I'm come always with a nice Dave for you, and, I'm not, and I don't hate you, Dave. Why don't you yes, come up you with do. a nickname? Yes, you do. Why don't you start calling him Shotgun? <laughs> I think everyone on this show loves each other except for Earl. Yeah. You don't love anybody. Well, I, lo I, I love all you guys. No, you don't. All. No, you don't. Who do you love the most, though? Well, I love you guys first. Right. You guys if, you if, you, if you'd only save one of us from a burning building, who would it be? <laughs> oh, uh... We know that's a fictional question because you've run out of bu burning buildings before and left us all. That's right. Is it, <laughs> answer the question. Is there, any, is, is there any way I could pick you and Fez up? Oh, come and on. Carry you both. Know, I can't know. I know. Will you I fucking can't, pick I, one it's, guy? It's, I can't. That's a, it's all. What about I'm going to pick, no offense, but Fez probably has a shorter lifespan. You're probably going to be, you know, so I'm going to have to pick Ron. <laughs> okay. And I'll fucking answer. I'll play the game at least. Yeah, thanks for playing mm. the game. Tito's. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's not anything against Fez. I it would say come off, it doesn't them. come off that way. <laughs> no. It doesn't. Yeah, why would, I, why would I take right. it that way yeah. while I'm burning up? All right, Earl, who would you pick? Um, I would pick Fez. Right. <laughs> All right, leave me behind like you did Muni. I, I Thank you. I appreciate it. I, like I, you I, left I, Muni to die. I didn't leave Muni to die. But what the I, fuck? I got you the job. How many times have you been uh, to the cemetery? Zero. Unbelievable. Oh, wow. Unbelievable. I, 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 also, I, I what think... happened when uh, he, uh, as soon as he got the job, he stopped hanging out with Opie. Right, every he got Wednesday. the job. Yeah. Yep. Used to go out every week to uh, every, dinner with him. Every was, Wednesday night. Every Wednesday night, but I mean, that, that wasn't nothing deliberate no, or mean well, or malicious. Then remember when he got you the job with me, what you said? Well, fuck you, fuckstick. <laughs> <laughs> I got my own job now. Oh, yeah. Let me ask you this, Ope. During that every Wednesday night, did, did Earl ever say, hey, buddy, let me grab the check? No. Mm-mm. Why? You I always this? offered, though. I always offered. This though. guy lives always in such a nice house. All right. And you treat Stop. him like that? Today. All right. <laughs> you better fucking smarten up. You better not treat Opie like that. Or what? Now, okay. why haven't you been to Muni's Cemetery? Black men afraid of graves? <laughs> Oh, I'm not. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. That was, Thanks, Dave. That was great, though. Yeah. <laughs> there's no real reason. I mean, I, I you know, there's not a day that goes by I don't think about them. Disrespect. It's, That's it's the not reason. disrespect at all. Uh, at all. There's, but there's nothing he can do for you anymore. That's uh, <laughs> I <laughs> say. <laughs> well, wow. Either, either that. Or I might go over there with a shovel, thinking it might be changing Muni's pocket. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't you, mean I didn't. I don't love the guy, but you don't I just love don't. Him. You guys you use people. You guys told the fire story, right? Where Earl ran out of the building. It has been a long time, though. If we told it was right after we first came on, and I wasn't there at the time, you and uh, Aunt were on the air. Well, what was the story, Earl? You were in charge of. Getting Earl pe- was fire marshal. I was yeah. assistant fire marshal. Assistant fire marshal <laughs> well, for the floor. <laughs> Pete Johnson was oh, the fire marshal. Oh, Pete marshal. Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and Everyone we had, this way. We had an alarm go off. The firefighters showed up in full full gear, and uh, Earl was the first out of the building. I was not. <laughs> that is so not true. Out. I, I well, ran. Yeah. Anthony I said he looked out the, the window and saw Earl look right, it up. I saw the other side of the hole, and I'll never forget because Anthony was standing on that ledge where, the, such a liar. where the window was. I'm like, I was like, we have to go now. It was like, we want everyone out of the building. And he was like, and he just kept staring down. He would not go. And I'm like, we got to go now. And he wouldn't leave, so. Let him burn. Yeah, I was so, let him burn, but... So it's the assistant fire marshal, let them all burn. Uh-huh. I gotta get out. He assists himself. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's not the way it happened, but hey. You're I had to the... fucking show branded. <laughs> Just run it off and leaving everybody. Tito's. Oh, I love Tito so much. He's, do you really? Yeah, it's a great How much do you love of... it, though? It's so smooth. Could you do a commercial for them? Oh, yeah. Uh, I do a commercial I'll d- it'll be like this. Ready? Yeah. Hey, Dave, what you drinking? <laughs> hey, Ron. Hey. I'm drinking Tito's. Tito's, huh? Well, I love Tito's so much. I can drink it out of the asshole of a black man. <laughs> <laughs> I can drink it out of my shoe. And I can drink it with Opie Hughes. Tito's. Tito's. So good you can drink it out of the ass of a black man. <laughs> but you don't have to. <laughs> he does. It's a great beverage, though. Ass of the black man sold separately. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice, huh? I haven't uh, drank vodka in a long time. No. And I'm wondering... Why not, mistake. David? Why not, David? <laughs> why, why, always, not David? Why, why always with the whiskey? Why have you two been away from each other for so long? Tito's. I don't know. Swish, Tito's. you're on Fez. Hey, what's going on, guys? Yeah. Hey, man, I just left the liquor store. They didn't have no fucking Tito's. <laughs> Let me tell you something, buddy. This Tito's... What? I... What? Tito's Baba hand Baba me... Baba you fucking prince! Baba Booey! Oh, he got us with the Baba Booey. Oh, no. What do we do Baba now? Baba Booey. Oh, oh. It was a, oh, it was no. a call a from... Muslim? The, call from 1989. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like an Islamic person. I don't know. Good one. Good one. You're always ready. <laughs> you're always ready. Uh, here's uh, Phil. Phil, you're on Run of Fez. Hello? Yes. Hey, Ron. Hey, Ron, Fez and crew. How are you guys doing? Good. Uh, Earl is definitely lying about saving people in the fire. <clears throat> he would save Lily out of everyone else. Oh, yeah. Would you save Lily? No, I would not. 
Oh, come on, Earl. No. Now, where is uh, Lily today? Lily is on her way to Bonnaroo. Yeah. Oh, what? No, yeah. Now, who's she traveling with? Um, she's I, traveling alone. Yeah. So that's so sad. She doesn't know anyone down there, but she's spending the weekend alone at Bonnaroo. That's yeah. so weird. Isn't it odd? <laughs> sad, really, when you think about that. It really is. Yeah. She may know a couple people. Young lady <laughs> in Tennessee. Bonnaroo is a hell of a place, Mr. B. Mm. You yeah. were there when two, a couple years ago. 2006, I saw a little man named Bob Dylan. You like him? <laughs> I saw a band called Primus. <laughs> you feel responsible for all these people? Now, did you spend, did you stay the whole weekend or stayed the whole weekend? I know you guys love Primus because I hear them on your well, rejoiners every well, fucking morning. Did, now, did you actually stay the whole weekend or did yeah. you have a problem? Oh well, no. I mean, I okay on Saturday. All right, listen to the re what the retard does. Yeah. Well, it was very hot, and so we decided, uh, me and my ex-girlfriend had a tent, and we decided to put it next to an RV for shade, okay? But during the night, these assholes in the RV fucking turned it on for the air conditioning. <laughs> I didn't realize that the exhaust pipe was basically on my tent window, and so the next day, I'm feeling all hungover and shit like that. I'm like, I didn't really even drink that much. <laughs> and then I realized, oh, I think I have carbon monoxide poisoning. <laughs> you couldn't move? I couldn't move. I was more hungover than a fucking... Picture a tequila fucking hangover times a thousand. That's how bad it was. I went to the fucking uh, the hospital, and the guy says, people can die if they have 7% of carbon monoxide in your blood. And I had 8.2. <laughs> Face. Face. <laughs> so if this was an M. Night movie, you would be dead, but you just don't know it. Oh, Jesus. Now I gotta pinch myself. But I showed Wait them. a minute. The whole time you've been talking, you noticed no one's ever even looked directly at you? Not really. Yeah. They haven't looked at me. That's weird. Because maybe you're not oh, here. Oh, Jesus. Not even Nico. No one. You know who I miss? Who? Dave. Yeah. I'm Wasn't right it here. fun having Dave around? I'm right here, pal. Missed him. I wish he had never gone to that concert. What I'm concert? Right here. Bonnaroo. Lily's there this weekend. Oh, yeah, by herself. Mm. Right here. Gave Ron cigars. She's got a hotel room. That's odd, because she just decided to go the other day. Yeah. And you would think hotel rooms would be sold out. That would be <laughs> totally booked. Hundreds of miles. Yeah. So Maybe she's fucking someone. <laughs> 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 I didn't hear anything. Me neither. Cause he's dead. Yeah, because he's yeah, right over here, though. Cause, Adam, cause Adam, Adam you're on a fez. <laughs> Adam. Yeah, um. I just, uh, was. Put your fucking thoughts together. Oh, you mm. panic prick. He had a good line, too, but he just doesn't know how to do it. Uh, Bill, you're on a fez. I just wanted to thank Opie for bringing by uh, Tippy Tom today. Oh. <laughs> First of all, I have Face. no diseases. I ain't no Tippy Tom, baby. Yeah, I'm it fucking, smells worse. I'm Axl Rose. I'm Mick Jagger. I'm Bruce Springsteen. All rolled into one. Really? Yeah. I really should be uh, in a band, maybe. <laughs> You'd I mean, be great in a band. Out, yeah. What would the band name be, Dave? Oh, By the right. way, this thing that you say, if it don't work out, it hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> you are not. You are not making it. And there's no, no future. It's horrible. It's, there's I'm no terrible. future. At least I'll admit. Yeah. Unlike, unlike this guy, yeah. Earl Douglas. Um, the band name? Mm -hmm. Cheese ball. <laughs> you know? It's very succinct. Very well, there's quick. a lot of rock stars from uh, Jersey where you're from. There's one rock star from New Jersey, baby. Yeah. His name is Bruce Springsteen. I say. He's the best. Now, there's some celebs from New Jersey. Mm -hmm. You know, I hope you're listening, Mr. DeVito and <laughs> Mr. Bigelow from Heaven. <laughs> That's what you're pr uh, proud of? <laughs> Danny DeVito and Bam Bam Bigelow? <laughs> Make fun of Bam Bam Bigelow in Heaven or I will <laughs> choke you. Um, here's uh, Wyatt. Wyatt, you're a run of Fez. Hey, what's up, Ron? We got you, buddy? Ron? Can you hear him? Yep, he's there. Hello? Right there. Go ahead, Wyatt. Wyatt, Christ! <laughs> Hello? Wait, you were right here! Oh, you're a son of a bitch, Wyatt. 
Hey, Wyatt. Remember, um... Go ahead, do your impressions. Weird science. Yeah, do your impressions. Uh-huh. Hey, Wyatt. I'm going to give you a wedgie. Remember that one? Mm-hmm. That's great. That was that's, that's one of my great best impressions. That's one of my best impressions of all yeah. time. Well, that's why we got O&A on the ropes now. <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot of impressions on our show. That's why Anthony backed off. Why what do you think of Jill? Do you think that thing's real? Oh. Um, Is that real? No. Uh, I, uh, it's a bit, radio I bit. I did go to dinner with them. But it didn't feel natural, you know, the way Opie is with his loved one. Right. Um, that feels natural and loving. Right. Um, How'd this feel? Like this, a bit? This felt like a bit, a little bit. Like, you know. A I'm bit gonna, like a bit? Yeah, I'm just going to, you know. Where's Hard Rock uh, Johnny? Did we ever? Johnny was having uh, some uh, an emergency and he couldn't talk. What's his emergency? Fucking run out of potato skins? <laughs> what kind of fucking hard rock emergency could have? Oh, we can't find Elvis's pants? There's no fucking emergency in that business. He ran out of Captain Crunch. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> I can't believe I go down there and people are still lining up after all these decades to get t-shirts. <laughs> well, you going to impress someone that you've been to a hard rock? It's like wearing a fucking McDonald's t-shirt now. Hard rock Tokyo. Wow. Oh, it's great. <laughs> Unbelievable. Why isn't he slurring? No, nah, he's fine. Why aren't you I'm slurring? fine, babies? I'm fine because it's Tito's. It's that smooth. Tito's vodka is different uh, on me, Mister B, than whiskey. Um, vodka, I think, it makes me feel warm and fuzzy. And I'd like to say something about Ron Fez real quick, if Ooh, I could. Real quick, Ron Fez gave me my jobs, <laughs> and I love them so much. And I love Opie. <laughs> That's fast. He's looking at me. <laughs> and <laughs> Nico. <laughs> <laughs> I don't love Sam Roberts. What? Why is that? He makes fun of Fez behind his back. I never say. Really? Fat. Fat. Oh, what's that <laughs> about? I'll never say fat. I say he doesn't know anything about wrestling. That's true. Though. He does that. But he doesn't That's, know that anything. part's true. But he says his beard looks stupid. You know what? It might be time for a little board gossip. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Shh. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Hold that move. It's going to go well. With Eastside Dave. This is not going to go well. It's bold <laughs> gossip time. <laughs> Starting off with pal talk where it looks like Irish whiskey <coughs> and feminine French kisses were flowing mightily at a recent party this past Saturday. Oh boy! <laughs> Gaza spies report Shell Bink made out with Hey Mother Kisser. Then an hour later, Hey Mother Kisser was passed out. So Shell Bink smooched with Snuggly Trixie Pixie. That's right, Ronnie. Oh, seems these three need to <laughs> rack up their feelings like emotional billiards balls. What? <laughs> <laughs> Has- <laughs> Let me hit the joke first. <laughs> Seems like these three need to rack up their feelings like emotional billiards balls. Has anyone seen the love triangle? Triangle, rack them up. <coughs> What's happening with you and your producer? What's he doing? He's a good guy. He's a, yeah, he's, he's great. He's an yeah, asshole. the best. He's the he's best. He's a fucking jerk. <laughs> Love him. <laughs> Toodling to RodFez.net, where Mikey Boy at the internet se- startlingly seemed non-saintly. In a s- what? <laughs> I don't know, Ron. <laughs> Too much of alliteration for a drunk man. <laughs> when <laughs> Tfe 19 recently posted, So sad after my breakup. Right now I'm on my third sangria in three hours' time. Mikey responded by saying, quote, Wow, sangria? Aren't you a regular Charles Bukowski? Stop growing tits <laughs> and man up. Well, Mikey Boy must have been recent. Mikey Boy, <laughs> hold on. Mikey Boy must have recently watched Bushwhacked because he was particularly Daniel Stern. Keith <laughs> Stern. <laughs> Is anyone? No, no. Opie, please. Wait, wait, wait! Uh, yeah. wait it's almost no. over. I, a- as for I, Keithy, uh, Mikey's right. Man up. Man, no, no, no. Stay there. Stay there. It's almost over. Stay right there, Opie. We have to. We have plans after the show. <laughs> We're going out. And now who can it be? Who can it be now? Who can it be now? 
Blood horse loving cupcake crusader was called a quote drunk cunt end quote by <laughs> tastes like vanilla on Pell Talk Sunday evening. After said Mikey said Mike Cockle roommate was seen downing more margaritas than my mother at a Jimmy Buffett concert. I can't rightfully tell you who <laughs> the drunk <laughs> cunt is, except she loves polo sweaters in ninety degree temperature, and Lily thinks she's not very happy at all. I wonder. Who could it be? <laughs> you like that one, Obi? That one was for you, sir. Everyone rejoice! <laughs> Laughter? Something? How about something from the Philly people? From the ONA Animation Festival, looks like Pissy should change his name to Doggy because he had his paws all over none other than Jess. The Phoebe Cates looking like old friend <laughs> of Sam. She does look like Phoebe Cates. I've heard that before. <laughs> yeah. Of Sam from the Sam and Sam show. When asked about this, Pitsy's only comment was, I blacked out. Not <laughs> sure if this shit is fire or beat. <laughs> fire or Not beat. sure if it's what? Fire or beat. What's that mean? Well, when interpreted by a translator from Long Island... <laughs> Apparently, Pitsy said, I'm not sure if this is fact or fiction. Fact. <laughs> <laughs> when I made the drop, then he. <laughs> so we'll write a story around it. We don't know whether this is fire beat. <laughs> he says things like so that. So stupid. Chuckling to whack bag. <laughs> Chuckling? Chuckling over to whack bag. Okay. The Iron Horse got a disease. When Cal Ripken went bald. But the Ron Bennington line of the day thread goes strong. So strong that we hear sometime during the show today, the thread will hit 5,000 oh. 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 Look at this. 5,000 posts. That box is straight from Whack Bag. And a uh, bunch of cigars from Whack Bag. Right. Wow. Fantastic. Captain by Arch Stanton himself. This uh, thread is the uh, only thing I've ever read on the <laughs> internet. <laughs> the Thank you very much, Whack Bag. That's very nice of you. Number one thread of all time. And so these uh, cigars will get me almost to the end of the show. <laughs> There's about 45 <laughs> of them. <clears throat> well, thank you very much. I'm glad I made you do that when you were drunk. I had no idea. <laughs> That's today's ball gossip. Remember, we're always watching. Shh. All right, they understand. They get it. I know, they understand. Hey, they understand the shush. Hey, uh, the folks outside were asking, they said, how come you never crowd surf anymore? Oh, man. Are you you afraid, know, I guess? I haven't done that in a long time. Yeah. You know? But I, you know what? I feel like crowd surfing right now. Do you really? I do. There he goes. I do. I just crowd surfing. I just came up with it. Come on. <laughs> All right, he's headed out to the bleachers. Yay. The shirt is off. <laughs> well, he's crowd surfing. And it's shirtless crowd surfing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They've got him up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was fun. I can't believe they got his drunk ass up. I've lost three pounds. They got yeah, you're drunk. looking yeah. good. You're looking fucking ripped, big man. Take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> I took a shower, Mafia Life, Chris, at 9 o'clock this morning. Give Chris a mic. Uh, I want to hear all about Mafia Life. MafiaLife.com. Mob candy. What's up, Ronnie B? Chris, how are you? <laughs> now, weren't you one of the uh, the sponsors for the the big <laughs> animation? Be. Yes, I was. What happened there? What did, what what does the sponsor do? Did you get? Uh... We pay. Are you pay? Yeah, we pay for plugs. Nice. Pretty much. No, I know. Um... <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much it. So no. uh, you you uh, didn't get to be one of the judges. Nah, I didn't get them to be one of the judges. I don't think that our judging went over all that big either. I don't think people like what the judges did. 
Ronnie was a star. Yeah, but I didn't mean. I don't think they like you held it together though. What we uh, what we picked is the number one. No, that's not true. Oh, no. that thing was awesome. I yeah, that, that, that had to gold, be number uh, one. Yeah. It was great. Uh, yeah. that, but we also really liked uh, the bear one. Steve the bear. That was my Steve favorite. the bear, bear one. Yeah. Slaughterhouse. Third place. Slaughterhouse. Slaughterhouse was, was huge was here today. Yes, that was gigantic. Oh, got some, you some cigars. Of course. Well, good. I'll throw those in with this box, and they'll never be seen again. Look, there it goes. <laughs> Not nearly as many as whack bags sent. And this also makes Dave's <laughs> two person. cigars look terrible. Oh, Mr. B, those are mustaches. I came in this with about <laughs> sixty cigars today, thanks got, to whack bag. I gotta start being nice. Look at what you get if you're nice. Yeah, it's really ridiculous. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I had a blast at that uh, animation. Did fest. you have a good yeah. time? It yeah, yeah. it was actually Great one of the best radio gigs I've ever yeah. been to. Yeah. yeah, Pitts had a really good time. Oh, oh yeah. no. Yeah. I love the groper. Mr. B, I love the sound. Yeah. During the animation festival. What's that? The sound. What's the sound? The sound, the, the sound of the building. <laughs> it, it was like an IMAX theater. Oh, okay. So you you're know. actually talking serious. I thought you had like a little joke. <laughs> no. I like the sound, and I thought you were going to make a fart noise. Silence. <laughs> yeah. Did you hear the sound of the crowd once they mentioned Ronnie B, though? Oh, that was, madness! That was just madness. No, you had the problem with uh, with Pitts that night, right? Yeah, I didn't now, realize I had to guard. Jess. And I didn't even know any of this happened. But he comes over to me and he says, "Smell my finger." What? <laughs> and oh. I go, Did "Why?" He and he goes like this: "Doesn't smell like the '80s, Phoebe Cates." Are you serious? That's what he said to me, and I did not know until this moment. And he's walking around here smiling and shaking my hand like it never happened. Yeah. What are you going to do about you, it? That's low. For that what are you going to do? What are you going to do about this, Sam? I'm going to ask the Pitts be banned. Hi, he I'm is. Pitts. From I'm going to jerk off to Sam's girlfriend <laughs> in the bathroom in a pirate outfit. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking creep. <laughs> Hope he was right about you. Yeah. <laughs> what? You fucking get What do you say? He keep calling him a wives. fucking fat asshole. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, he's prematurely bawling. <laughs> why, why <are> you <laughs> Good take, one, Hope. <laughs> well, why don't you take the edge off and have a little bit of, e, uh, of your little Tito's? Well, Mr. B, I, I, I would love to have some Tito's. <laughs> <laughs> what a coincidence. We have some. Here's our friend Arch from Whack Bag. Oh, God bless you. Arch. Tito's. Oh, jeez. Who's on the uh, phones today? Class. It's the harmonica man, Radio Shark. <laughs> Maybe Beethoven's on the phones because they're clearly deaf. <laughs> Are you back to doing your character again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gossip! Who was on the phones? The Flash. That's a uh, Flash was on there. Someone oh. who wants to hang out for the day. <laughs> just for the day. <laughs> we put the uh, Earl. <laughs> you, you're going back in that room after today. <laughs> You know what? Go and tap fucking pits out right now. All right. Can we see that that's over? Wait, this, yeah. is, this is a great organization. Wait, the guy showed up just to hang and yeah. do the work? Yeah. <laughs> no. Hey, it's not the O&A show where there's 40 guys getting paid to go like this. <laughs> uh -huh. And here's... Here's what I love about your staff too. Yeah, they they'll uh, they'll be like this. Well, they're having a bad show in there today. And I'm like, I thought it's your fucking show too, you lazy pricks. Well, we should the give you a few guys. Staff. I'll make the trades. No, I I would have taken Sam, but only with Than. He looks like there's nothing to him by himself. Are you, you kidding me? You I was lonely. You do. I was carrying that big guy on my back the whole time. Who the brains? What? <laughs> You're the brains. He's the brains. You're the one with the hot chick. All right. Fans got hearts. Sam's got farts. <laughs> Tito's. 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 You know, you know it, it is true. You get funnier as you drink. <laughs> <laughs> well, I rhymed him. I rhymed him, though. That's brilliant. <laughs> we'll see. That's brilliant. There's That's a fan at Sam's show, Saturday <laughs> night at 8 o'clock. All right, now Flash is just sitting over with the listeners. <laughs> Flash, I'm sorry that happened to you. You got pulled, big man. Go take a shower. Wash the loser stench off yourself and forget about it. And then I guess send Stalker Patty in to do phones. <laughs> what do we do with Pitts now that he's been taken off? Is he done with the organization? Fire him. I'll oh. go wherever you want me to, Ronnie. What's that? Well, I want you to think of a way of making up to, to Sam and Jess. I can take them out to dinner. Yeah, I can't yeah. crush your hands. There you go. With yeah. drinks. That's what I'd right. like to do. Go out to dinner with the convicted rapist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You fucking tree jumper. Oh, 
face. Sam can grow <laughs> his <laughs> face. <laughs> You're loving the face thing, huh? I love the face. Take it, <laughs> babe. Yeah. Give it to him. That's what I said. Yeah. Yeah. Get in the ring. Ronnie, I'll, thank you. <laughs> you thank can you, have Ron. it. I don't want to have to, you thank know. Thank you. everything else he's done for us. He's done a lot for me. Louis C.K. is great, though. Let's. Uh, no, I know that you had a run-in with him, but the guy's brilliant. I don't see it like that. I don't see it like that. If he's going to mock redheads... No, just to... you. He said you gave a bad name to redheads. At least I'm Irish, you Puerto Rican prick. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mexican. He's not even not Mexican. Big fucking difference. Face. <laughs> 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 I like he, uh, when he gives an insult when he tries to get real low and slow. <laughs> <laughs> like it's taking place in some old west bar <laughs> you Puerto Rican prick <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you cow puncher <laughs> what does the CK stand for Cox kicking. <laughs> I don't know. I'm you sure go. it does. No, hey, you know what? You went out there. You tried. <laughs> I tried. You gave yourself. Uh, you gave yourself an opportunity. Cock hunt. Yeah. Uh. So, how's your first Father's Day going to go this Sunday, Dave? Oh, I'm going to love it, Fez. Uh, It'll be the first time a three week old has ever committed suicide. <laughs> 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 She's trying to help figure out how to kill herself with a rattle. Keep those rattles away from her. Okay. Do you no. know what you're going to be doing? Oh, yeah. We're going to go to the zoo, and we're going to see. It's the last day of the Electra Telescope in Brooklyn. Oh, what three-week-old children don't love that? <laughs> <laughs> Can I explain to you what this telescope does in Brooklyn? Mm -hmm. If you go over to this telescope in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. when you're there at this telescope in Brooklyn... You can view it, and then in real time see someone in London staring at you. Mm -hmm. Is that not the most amazing thing you've ever seen? A, a telescope. Yeah. It's a trick. Or as we also call it, TV. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so, right? <laughs> I read the thing. And the right. guy, this guy had, uh, in the 1800s... Was, Do yourself a favor. Before yeah. you get there, get some cotton candy and a balloon, like every other stupid mark walking the midway. Mm. It's not real, then? No, it's real. Go enjoy yourself. Yeah. Nice. Face? Yes. Listen, there is a telescope face. tunnel. Face. You know, face. 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 If we weren't going out for steaks face. tonight on your dime, I would be very upset by you taking my face. If you can make it uh, eight, you got a deal. Oh, that's too much. Face. Mr. Bain. <laughs> <laughs> Sam and Jess are going out. With us. We're all going out, yep. though. The yeah. show today, isn't it? Today, where we're going to we're London. All, we all go out late on Man. We we eat Manhattan hours, not Brooklyn <laughs> hours. Brooklyn is three thirty. <laughs> <laughs> like the early bird special. You're sitting in the backyard with your yes. barbecue grill, which is just a drum cut in half. <laughs> you have a little something there. Maybe it's time for a confession. Hi. You haven't given us a confession oh, okay. in a while. You're all a Catholic right. guy, right? I am. So, what are the things that bother you the most about yourself? Well, I'm not proud of jacking off a kid when I was in fourth grade. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say that right now. Why? Why are you proud? <laughs> well, who was the kid? Uh, this guy named Colin. Whatever. All right, Colin. So you were also in fourth grade. He was your buddy. Yeah, we were pals. All right, what happened? Uh, he was really gay. I'm not. <laughs> I just want to make that fucking absolutely goddamn clear. <laughs> well, no, I yeah. love chicks. <laughs> I've never listened. So you really made that point. I was thinking convincing. I could tell how much you liked women when I saw you licking <laughs> vodka out of Earl's ass. Well, it had to be done. Previs. So the you know, we went back to his it was a snowy day. And, Romantic. Uh, his mom's <laughs> car was stuck in the snow a few blocks, so we knew we had some time. To jack and, and I fucking you know, he jerked me off, I jerked him off and we called it, you know, jerk time. Is that what you said? Let's do jerk time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and how old? Well, when I was in fourth grade, 10 years old. By 10, do you mean 25? <laughs> <laughs> and by jerk off, do you mean blue? <laughs> Neither. <laughs> so that's something that I've never said, and I... God, Tito's, you really fucked me over. <laughs> <laughs> Give that bottle a talk. How <laughs> often was jerk time? Uh, no, it just happened once. Every just, snow day. No, it was just this one snowy day. Me and Colin jerked each other off. One beautiful snowy day. And obviously we didn't come or anything, so I don't think that... That's why I don't think it's gay. Right. Because we just fucking... It's only gay if you come. 
Yeah. If you fucking jizz, that's gay. But we, you know, we're, we're 10 years old. We're not fucking gay. So we're just giving each other handies, you know. Luckily for you, the only thing that keeps you from gay is puberty. <laughs> 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 really unnecessary. It's comment. like committing a murder when you're 14. <laughs> well, just a kid. <laughs> so, and then Colin and I, you know, I didn't like him after that. Why? Because you didn't come? I felt like I was used a little bit. Now, when you remember this story, was Colin really older and was Colin really your dad? <laughs> <laughs> Patty cakes would never jerk me off. <laughs> That's the last time I say that on this fucking show. Did the other kids call Colin Mr. McDonald? <laughs> Tito's! <laughs> Let's have a party. Yeah, yeah, we ought to. We ought to do something for us for a change. Mm. You know? Fucking work so hard. My name is Earl, and I love today. My name is Earl. I'm so fucking gay. <laughs> That's a song I wrote three days ago for Earl Douglas. It's a good one. With no Tito's. Do you write anything? Do you write no. anything for Colin? <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> Fez, um, can you beat a story? Colin, yeah. Um, I don't think I can beat that story, but um, something I should confess I never told anyone was... When I was about eight years old, oh shit! Here we go. Oh my God. I um, oh my was for this. <laughs> oh my I drunk. I beat up a retarded girl in the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm really, I'm still really ashamed. One and O, oh, one and O, oh, one and O, oh, one and O. Oh. What? Oh come on, man! Flash say. for you. Now, why did you uh, beat up a retarded girl? Because well, you could? Basically, yeah. It was one of those things where she was the girl in the neighborhood that all the neighborhood kids teased. Mm -hmm. And she had this crazy-ass mother who said, and I was, you know, joining in on the teasing, and one day the mom said, um, if you all hate her so bad, why don't you just beat the hell out of her? <laughs> why would a mother say that? It was it's... Whoever comes up with the idea of, hey, beat up my retarded kid. Yeah, she goes, then just fight her. <laughs> and yeah, she said it to me, and I was egged on by the other kids around and didn't know, and here's... I didn't want to get out of it and beat up the retarded girl, punch her in her fat stomach. All right, here's the really sad thing that hasn't dawned on you, because I used to be a mean kid. And what I would do was make the retarded kids fight each other. <laughs> so you don't realize it, but someone's saying, hey, we had these two retarded kids in our neighborhood. One was named Fez, and I made him beat up a retarded girl. It was her mother that egged it on, who was you, just a lunatic. You didn't even feel a little good when you punched a retarded girl in the stomach? Oh, man. it was. I felt bad instantly, because yeah. she, uh, she immediately started crying. Yeah. Oh. oh, God bless your heart. I felt heart. awful about it. Bless your heart. God bless your heart. <laughs> Thank you. You know what? And it Did doesn't you... feel good to confess it for some reason. Hey, uh, that's yeah. not what confession is about. <laughs> about getting things off your chest. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Let me talk to 1970s black guy. <laughs> you gotta get things off your chest, daddy-o. <laughs> now, Sam, who's got the, the worst story there? Between, I would say... A bunch of retarded girl in the stomach yeah. or jacking off your friend in the snowbank? I think Who? probably probably beating up the retard. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I think it's an awful story. You, you got the same for you, Oak? Oh, yeah. So you but would no. rather jack off another kid than punch a retard in the stomach? Well, a lot of kids... I feel fantastic about myself, then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the Tito's. Put your headphones on straight. <laughs> but all of a sudden, I don't well, think What are you so going to do? Bad. Punch him in the stomach? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, his, if his mom told me to. <laughs> you, just weren't, you just weren't expecting it from yeah. Fez. That's no. I know. And you're not a fighter. You're not known for your fighting. <laughs> no, and I felt like I was in this, I can't get out of this situation. Well, for years you told us that you've only been in the one fight, and that's when the cane pole gang jumped you when you were younger. Yeah, that's when I got beat up, because yeah. I, was, I was coming home from the 7-Eleven with a Slurpee, mm. and I had my bike with me. Yeah. And I was walking my bike, because I couldn't ride and have the Slurpee at the same time. <laughs> 
So these and pretzels and donuts. <laughs> yeah, really. I might have had a bag more, of snacks. There's a lot more food groups in that. I might have had a snack bag. <laughs> and these two, and the Seven Eleven there was by the woods, and these two boys in shirtless boys and cut off dungarees, mm. uh, carrying cane fishing poles, came out of the woods, and <laughs> how old are you, Huck Finn? <laughs> <laughs> My grandfather grew up in the Rod Real era. <laughs> Did they make him whitewash the fence? <laughs> no, they tried to take my bike, and I was like trying to get my bike back, and they threw my bike in the ditch, and so I was just going to leave it there and try to get home. And as I was try as I was walking away, one of them came up behind me and punched me really hard in the back of the head, right in the ear. And I dropped my Slurpee and everything and <laughs> left the bike, left the snacks, the Slurpee, everything, and just went on home as fast as I could. Do you know their names? <laughs> I, I'd never seen them before. I'd never seen them in the neighborhood. That's but, awful. But and I, they're yelling, faggot, faggot. Um, I don't remember them you, yelling that, but they, I yelled back at them. What? Didn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys are listening, you're growing up. And you ever fuck with Fez again and call him a <laughs> faggot and a fatso, you know, he got a heart problem and all that shit, I'll fucking kill you guys. <laughs> Thank you, Tito. You know, we got that shit, Tito's? <laughs> I think it was just the retarded girl coming back for more. <laughs> it was not the little retarded girl. All right, so when you look back, what are you more ashamed of? Getting your bike stolen and getting punched in the ear or punching the retard in the stomach? Punching the retard in the stomach. I have felt bad about that forever. Yeah, you're like Gandhi. What about yeah. water in the ass? What? <laughs> Hose in the I ass? I didn't put any water in her ass. No, in his ass. Shouldn't that be in the consideration of a sh of shamefulness? I'm going to have some Tito's, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you should. Because of what your dad did to you, he hosed your ass? Oh, uh, when we went to the beach and I got stripped down on the carport and he hosed out my ass in front of <laughs> my cousins and the entire neighborhood. Sometimes when I'm drinking, I like to think of what Fez would look like. Like a <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring and, in a pig. It wasn't 12 and, when I got my ass hosed I, out. I, I always think, what would Ron look like? Like, he's six years old. <laughs> Here's the thing. If you had to... Uh, your dad was right, though. Sometimes the only way to get uh, sand out of a fat kid's ass is with cum. <laughs> Uh-oh, shark attacks. Uh-oh. Shark attacks. Mexico. Uh -huh. they, oh, they got they got six children. They oh, no. surrounded six kids. Oh, they pulled um, that kid under. They oh, just boy. put the shark, pulled that kid under. Pot They're bellies. helpless. They're helpless against the sharks. Well, uh, pot bellies down there. Earl, what's your big story of shame? Being friends with the white man? <laughs> well, it was half an hour ago, Ron. <laughs> some Irishman said, vodka out of my ass. <laughs> you got him, Dave. You got him. I won! Face! So they knew the six, Ron. That's three to noon. Three, three to six. Three to noon. It's a long show. <laughs> six to you six. You guys get the main numbers. There's a three to six. <laughs> <laughs> No, but my my confession isn't as 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 harsh. But I remember uh, as a kid, um, sucking cock. I no. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I broke the the needle on our old on our record player, and I look and I basically I dimed out my brother, even though he didn't do it. And why? I, and my father beat the living snot out. It was the worst beating he had ever given him, and. And he didn't do it, and I didn't say a word. I just let him take it, and that's about it. Earl has not changed a bit since he was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> he breaks something and then blames a co-worker. <laughs> Dave did it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Grammys. What was that? Fucking Earl changed all the, the channels. TVs oh, on the Grammys. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot up. that story. Oh, just started out. And they're talking about the Grammys were all fucked up, and Opie goes, you think that was that red-headed weirdo, James? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like screaming out of my fucking radio. The audio at the Grammy Awards was screwed him. up for the o a show. I saw him change the channels. Did I, I don't know you? what happened, and, Dave. And Dave, I never dimed you. I never dimed you. You it did not at all. If, if anything, I was always, I kept saying, it was like, if you need somebody to, to no, blame, but, it's me. I did it. I kept saying that. On. Is that taking responsibility? If you what? need someone saying to blame I'm responsible, me. yes. You say I turned the channels, Opie. Me and Opie going out for steaks tonight. Anyway. <laughs> sure you are. Yeah. 
Yeah, you'll make it. I bet. <laughs> Yeah, because Opie wants Pito. to go with you while you're wearing the number one dad shirt. <laughs> so now, I changed my shirt. <laughs> Where's your hat? Where's got, your number one dad hat? We got some Rob Fish shirts in the back. I'll change it into one of them if you want. Oh, that looks good. Wait till you see. <laughs> you look so much like your baby when you put that on. Wait till you see the 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 uh, photo for Wednesday. I'm not. I'm not gonna say anything else of your baby. <laughs> I love those pictures. You're really lucky with that baby. You got a really I great feel kid. fantastic, you know? Yeah. I do. Especially when I'm, you know, drinking Meet, a little bit. Sure, you're meeting your responsibilities yeah. head on. <laughs> the only better thing is if there was a PTA meeting today. <laughs> I like <laughs> And, it, you know, when you drink more, everyone gets cuter and stuff. Uh, here's Matt. Matt, you're a run of Fez. Hey, buddy. How you doing? How Good. you doing, Ope? Hey, buddy. Uh, I got a story. When I was in fifth grade, I was... Uh, I was in the bathroom with my friend, and uh, I sliced open my finger with a, a little Swiss Army knife, and I had to run to the nurse. And instead of telling the nurse that I sliced it open with a knife by myself, I, uh, I told her that one of the retarded kids uh, pushed me off the tire set on the swing set, and I sliced it open because he, uh, he pushed me off the tire set, and I sliced it with a, on a wood chip. So I totally blamed the uh, retarded kid. What they do? Uh, I don't know. I just went to uh, the hospital. They stitched me up, and I went back to school the next day. And uh, I think there is—I I don't know what happened to the dude because I just don't remember. But I can't imagine them, you know, like reprimanding him or anything. I don't know what happened, but uh, to this day, I still uh, remember that, and I feel bad because I just totally blamed the Shatari guy for something he totally didn't do. I'm sure he was banned from the swing. <laughs> I don't know about that. So, All right, man. Uh, all that's right. awful, though. I mean, that's yeah. right up there with Fez uh, raping a retarded girl when he was little. <laughs> I did not rape one. I punched one really hard in her fat stomach. <laughs> her fat pregnant stomach? <laughs> she was not you pregnant. You punched a uh, retarded pregnant girl in the stomach? <laughs> no, I did not. Yeah. Fuck her, Fez. Thanks, uh, Dave. Chris, you're waving your hand. You got a confession? Something you feel bad about? Something you wish you could change? Something you wish you never would have done? Mafia life? 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Uh, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. I wish there were more forums. <laughs> <laughs> Mafialife.com. <laughs> Sorry. Well. Seriously. I have two toggling back and forth. Uh, one can leave me with the, the community... Basically realizing why I'm gay or homophobic at least, and the other one can be a little mafioso. I think. Oh, I like the gay one. Gay. Gay. I like the gay one. Gay. Gay. Always I, go gay, gay when you get a chance. Gay, 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 gay. gay. All right, so use that. You I've never told anybody except for my shrink. This actually, uh, it's, a, it's a good thing to get off your chest. Um, for you, I guess, and okay. the rest of the world. But oh shit, Frenchie may leave me. Okay, she doesn't even know it? Nope. Nope, it's that deep. All right. All right. I used to go over to my friend Peter's house to fucking play, like, Commodore 64 hockey or something <laughs> sure, like that. Sure, it's, it's already been it's the best on the market. Can't beat that. <laughs> I should just spit it out, because it's really not this major closing story. But anyway, I know I used to sleep over all the time, because we used to kind of peeked through the peephole at his stepsister while she was masturbating in the other room. About how old were you guys? Uh, nine. Mm-hmm. Eight, nine. And how old was she? <laughs> like, uh, 15. Yeah. 16. That was like a big thing, you know? Redhead. Well, it was hot. Sure. Oh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. yeah <laughs> arousal the whole nine, you know? Yeah. Whatever. Man, man, we would play hockey on Commodore 64, manly, and then go peep into the hole, you know, at this hot redhead. Anyway, I guess, uh, I don't know. One day I fell asleep and I woke up with the, the man fondling me in the middle of the night. And I kind of like peeked open and I saw it and I didn't know how to react. And I just let it happen till uh, completion. Man? And I just pretended I was sleeping. Yeah, my friend obviously was gay uh -huh. and I didn't know how to handle it. So he was touching me. And I was like, either wake up and like, holy shit, because I used to sleep over. Right. So I, I was like, wake up, holy shit, make a big deal, or just pretend that you're sleeping. 
Right. And so I pretended I was sleeping, and he, he finished me off. And then the next morning, I just woke up and pretended like nothing happened, and then I never went back there again. I think I remember going, running to my house the next day, and I, I was like hysterical crying to my dad, and then my dad gave me that whole speech of like, you know, demonstration, you know, period of your life when you're, you know, you know this and that and the other thing. And I was just like, no, but I'm gay. And he's like, but you're not gay. And uh, so you thought I, you were, I, I'm homophobic now because of that. So you were on your, uh, your mom, uh, your dad and you're crying. You're saying, uh, dad, I'm sorry, I'm gay. And he's saying, you're not gay. Yeah. This, this just happened. Yeah. So you felt like you were gay for letting it go on. Yeah. And it was, it, I'm, I'm, right now I'm shaking. Right. So yeah. It's like, it's like, you know, I came in just to enjoy the show and I was like, right. now it's coming out. I'm like, holy shit. And everyone's looking at me. Like, right. I'm, like in my mind and in my I know, body. But I mean, I'm you're looking over. No, I think no, I'm no. gay, right? Yeah, a little bit. You son you're of a cute. bitch. But here's the thing. You're a little gay. Uh, a, you were a little kid. And B, the reason why you didn't say anything because you were uncomfortable and you didn't want everybody else to feel uncomfortable. You know what I mean? Like you tried to save your buddy the embarrassment. Yeah. In your young mind. What did your shrink say about this? Well, well, we really touched up on it when the homopho the homophobia came out uh -huh. and why I was homophobic and, and stuff like that. I mean, she basically said the same thing my father said in medical terms, I guess, or right. you know, uh, more intellectual let me tell you terms. Something real it quick. happens. My brother's gay. He uh, he loves cock, Mister B, mm -hmm. and it's not it's not such a bad thing, Chris. And in, in my, I think Chris is dealing with child abuse or something. I like. I, I, don't, I just feel like my brother's nowadays I challenge that. myself you know what I'm saying like I, I try my best not to be homophobic right I really do and and you What's know so bad about cock when when it comes to the shrink and everything like that there's a lot of things that I try to do that I like I'm majorly social anxiety like probably yeah, and that's what I think you coming I, up here and saying this took a lot of courage Here's Frenchie. She wants to break up with oh, you on like 10. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dave. That was, that was an extra big laugh. <laughs> hey, Frenchie. Hey, guys. Um, I know you were talking about when you were younger, but I think Chris should have um, wished he never did that whole page, you know, scenario online. Oh, that's, that's, that's page. one of the things he should have uh, wished he never did. All right, so you're calling up for a confession for him. <laughs> yeah. oh. So you're saying you're actually more bothered when he dumped you for an imaginary girlfriend. Imaginary fat cunt. Tito's. I, I would like to take this opportunity to apologize to uh, my girlfriend and to everyone out there for falling for a fake um, internet chick. Here's what happened to him, Sam. I don't know whether you ever heard the story. So I have not. He's online. And, he, you know, he's got the lovely Frenchie. Yeah. And that's his girlfriend. They get together. You know, everything's great between them. Well, he sees a poster with a nice picture mm -hmm. of a girl, of the hot picture. And he starts to fall for her uh, and breaks up with Frenchie as he's, I guess, online dating. Yeah, well, she's a mafia life player. Uh -huh. you know, and, I, and I'm breezing through the administration panel and I see this <laughs> profile of this fucking uber hot chick at the time. And me and French were like kind of like new. Uh, and I, I was I was like really confused and fucked up anyway, like in the head, you know. Right. And she was being really uh, understanding of me at the time, and uh, I pursued this girl who I thought was that girl who happened to be really nice on the phone, and uh, I, and I busted balls on the uh, internet, and I never really came out and say it, but like you know there was full. Uh, you know, phone sex, I guess, at the time, and like all this stuff, and then it turned out that um, I was I was having a hard time with French, and it was in my own head. It wasn't anything she did, uh -huh. and I, I was uh, possibly about to maybe see this girl and, and like, yeah, come to you were moving come her to, into Brooklyn. Well, come to New York, you know, for a vacation. We'll hang out. This and the other thing. And on the day that she was supposed to come, she reveals this bombshell. What's that? That uh, she's just like 400-pound fucking pig. 
<laughs> you know? Uh, that's so classy. not nice. That's classy. Damn. She Damn. revealed that. <laughs> they're women. She revealed it to me. You right. mean she was a false? She didn't say pig. <laughs> you mean her online picture God. Damn didn't you. match up with what no, she really looked like? No, that shocking? The weird. Isn't that's that unbelievable. Yeah. So what were you worried about? The movers would charge by the pound? Oh, uh, yeah. Come on. You were attacking the poor girl instead of oh, Chris. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Uh. All Chris this, is a bad person. Really? But see, you, you fell in love with her personality. Yeah, it was the personality. And yet, as soon as you found out that she didn't physically look the way you wanted, you dumped her. Well, I, I was always in love with French. I just did not know Aww. what we had going in the future. No, I did not know where the future was going to take us. But she had the baby, and you all can at least hopefully understand that when there's a guy taking on a relationship right. with a girl that already has a family basically yeah. it's difficult Look, so I was weighing the opportunity you, of the possible you, I was you, gonna stay single right. I, it's not like, you, you know, got a lot of pressure I was gonna you. marry this girl I was gonna just date her and just be single you're being hard on yourself too I mean life is difficult enough what you need to do every once in a while you ever do any relaxation exercises well you just like lay back oh. shut your eyes We'll all jerk you off. You pretend you don't notice. <laughs> Run home and cry to your dad about it. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> that, that would help. And, uh, That's not going to help. And I'm, and I'm the mean guy. Yeah. <laughs> no. So, uh, Frenchie, you didn't know the story about him and his uh, little buddy when they were in 11th grade. No, I didn't know that. But, uh, you know, bygones be bygones. That's I don't care about love that shit. Love you, sweetheart. As I don't Frenchie? The key word yeah. is bye. Has Chris ever danced and sang with Lil Frenchie? The way Absolutely Eastside David has? Not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. What were you singing to Lil Frenchie? Well, I was at Solaris in Alki's house. And we sang Dashboard by the Moonlight. <laughs> so like, number one dad. So you guys are familiar with it. It's a song by Me Love. Right. A very popular tune. And we sang it, and we sang our hearts complete, and Chris has never Dave, done that. Dave, we sometimes have our differences, but God bless Ichiban Dad, right there. David. Ichiban Dad, yeah. David McDonald's going to be the best dad. I saw that in no. you that night. I saw that in you. All I'm saying is, all right, listen. Fuck you, but I saw that in you. I know you're going to be you, a good dad. You know right away then he's going to be yes, a good dad. Yes, right away. And I just like to say something to you and uh, Frenchie. Sunscreen. I don't think it's a bad <laughs> idea to put some sunscreen no. on the baby. Yeah, not my fault. <laughs> not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 French. That little baby looked like a lobster on the line. Well, I was, I was supposed to come in here with, like, you know, obviously, like, all these, like, games, um, books, and uh, some stuff for the prize closet. Yeah. I gave her money to go shopping for this stuff. Like, where are you? I'm home right now. <laughs> where are you, Frenchie? <laughs> <laughs> Is that an impression? Hello, Mafia Life Chris here. Ron, could you please plug my website? <laughs> I know, Ron, you get several emails. Hey, hey, Here's 17 hey, more. hey, Earl, can I get a shot off of your, a crack of your asshole, please? Oh, that's but true. I'm not gay. That is true. Ooh. That's a great impression of Sam from the ONA show. Before Sunday. we go today, happy birthday to little Megan. She turns two today. She's Aww. the daughter of OKH from fuckthebagandfba.net. Mm. So happy birthday well, to her. And also let's plug happy Chris's birthday. website. Mafialife.com. Yep, join the Mafia online. Join the Mafia. I play on there. Dave plays. Sam plays. All the time. Earl plays. Fez. Yep. We're all different Mafia characters. You got to try to figure out who we are inside <laughs> that game. I'm Davey Spaghetti. Uh, why would you give it away? <laughs> Sorry, Mr. B. Yeah. You were whacked already. And I got some stuff to bring in for the prize closet since Earl's not doing his job. Ooh, Ooh. I'm going to do, do it for him. I, I, me girl. and Chris got some stuff to bring in for you guys. Right. We need to have a uh, uh, a meeting about just keeping it together. And Fez, um, you had a rough day yesterday Yeah. with the uh, two-hour-old burger. Right, yeah. D did you see your shrink last night? Um... No, last night was my one day out of the week I didn't see a shrink. I'm going I'm going after the show today. Though. Are you really? Yeah. Yeah. Man, that burger really got to your head somehow <laughs> in a way that I can't even understand. Uh, I, I, I'd like to say real real yeah. quick. Today is Friday, June thirteenth. 
Doesn't mean I don't love Ron Fez. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I will say this to you, buddy. Love Ron Fez. When the show is over, yeah. Fez and Earl are taking away your liquor. Okay, yeah. And that drink. ends your drinking until they think you're uh, sober enough to leave the building. Okay. Can I ask you this uh, yeah. question real quick? A beer, maybe? No. Only when you're sober enough to go. Okay. Yeah. So right. then you start your Friday night stuff. Got it. Know, on your own. I know Dave's going out with uh, Opie. Yeah. Uh, can, I, can I invite you guys somewhere? Me yeah. and French are going. We're going to see Rick Shapiro <laughs> at, uh, I guess, the Sidewalk Cafe at 8 p.m. It's oh, Jay's lawyer? <laughs> yeah, we, we should all go. No, no, no it's a comedian. Oh. He's from it's Louis Kise, uh, yeah. CK's show. Yeah, from Lucky mm. Louie. Yeah, he's yeah. on Lucky Louie. It was, it was Fuck that guy. It's a, it's a free show. It's on Avenue A, I believe, in 6th and 6th sure Street. it's great. What time is this show? 8 p.m. Who's all going to be there? All your uh, Spread the Iris folks? Yeah, for, Spread the Iris. Yeah, nice. <laughs> They're all awesome. Oh, does Sam me get something to plug? Tomorrow night at 8 p.m., Stan and Sam. I'll be listening. It's going to be a good one. Not so much for you, but for Than. Well, I'm good on it, too. Mm. Does your check come in here? No, not for tomorrow. Oh, Phoebe. So she's well... Well, she's, she's not coming in the studio with Pitts around. I don't blame. I don't blame. Go ahead. I have one quick plug. Go ahead. Ron Fez, noon to three. <laughs> <laughs> and I just want to say thank you to the hero for stopping by here today. He not only saves lives, but he uh, helped us with the show. That's it for us, everybody. Uh, see you come Monday. And that's the end of my show. Dog. John Bennington, Fez Watley, Ron and Fez.